In the vast and mysterious ocean realm of Minecraft, there I was. I wake up, yet my reality feels like a dream. I became a mermaid, seemingly overnight. My iridescent scales shimmered in a myriad of colors, reflecting the magic that flowed through my new aquatic home. On this fateful day, I found myself bestowed with a daunting quest to survive a challenging 100 days in the ocean depths. Hey everyone, my name is Lovestar, and today marks the beginning of my 100 day journey as a mermaid. I will be dividing this challenge into a mini Let's Play series, each episode containing 10 days of my adventure. Once I reach 100 days, I will conclude the series with a full 100 day length movie. Now, surviving in the ocean depths is no easy feat. I am strong in water, but weak on land, and I will soon start to suffocate if I stay out in the air for too long. I plan on avoiding the land as much as possible and only going up there to gather necessary resources. Within these 100 days, I plan on completing some quests. Build an underwater oasis where I can live safely and thrive. Build an epic potion brewery and enchanting room. Obtain fully enchanted diamond armor or better. And lastly, defeat Captain Cornelia and unlock the secrets of the Aquamarae. Day 1 of my new life as a mermaid. I jump straight into the water and take a look around. Luckily, I'm swimming in the warm ocean, so I immediately find a coral reef, along with a strange ancient structure and a lone mermorph. What the heck is that? The structure had some decent starter loot, some food, and leather armor. Okay, we got some armor and emeralds. I guess I should put the armor on. <laughs> Lots of food. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna have to find some way to grow this underwater, though. Oh, there's an oak sapling. <gasps> okay, so if I can find an air pocket underwater, I can try to grow this tree. I tried challenging myself by finding my first piece of wood underwater. I soon after discover how many caves there are underwater, and along with it, exposed ores. Whoa, this looks so cool. This lapis? Oh my god, this is diamonds? What? Unfortunately, I didn't have any tools to collect those diamonds, so I leave them for now back to my search for wood. Along the way, I find another structure, this time with some meat and a knife. I swim around aimlessly, hoping for a shipwreck, but I end up finding an imprisoned guardian instead? I suppose I have no other option but to face him, because I really need those logs. Don't kill me now. At least he will find himself free from his shackles, one way or another. He even drops some fish. How sweet! Anyway, I immediately make myself a wooden pickaxe, along with an upgrade after I collect some stone. I thought to myself at this point, how the hell am I going to get myself a bed? I peek my head above the water to see if I see any sheep, cause I am willing to risk my life for a good night's sleep. I step onto the shore briefly, but go back to the water before my bubbles run out. I spend a few more minutes collecting stone before finally returning to collect the rest of my wood. I always start my modded playthroughs with a backpack, cause as you can see, I've not even completed my first night and my inventory is already full. I really enjoy checking out the local sea life. Some fishies... It's nighttime now, so I find my way back to the coral reef to see if I can find myself a shelter. What? What is that? What the heck? Mantis shrimp? Dude, that looks so cool, but also really scary. Can I kill it? Oh, oh, oh my god! After my quick brawl with a mantis shrimp, I begin barricading this mysterious ruin with a lodestone in the center. It'll be my first official home, but I don't plan on staying there for long. 
Since the night and day aren't too different underwater, I don't have much of an incentive to skip the night. So I spend a little time gathering some ores. Oh, look at this, that's so cute. I mostly mine the iron and coal for now. I find my way back to those diamonds I saw earlier, but soon get distracted by something. Okay, oh! Oh, how cute! <laughs> I guess we found our first pet. Okay, now back to the diamonds. I first have to smelt some of my iron though. This was probably the fastest I've ever found diamonds in Minecraft. Not only that, but this was a huge vein. Ten whole diamonds! And a bonus diamond. <gasps> There's more over here! While I wait for my iron to smelt, I go collect some more. Though, I'm trying to get this leather armor off as soon as possible, so I make myself some iron gear. I go back home to continue smelting my ore and put some of my stuff away. I see that there's an island right above me with a bunch of trees, so I decide to go up there to collect some wood, now that I found my first few pieces underwater. Our counter starts now. <laughs> Luckily, with the timber mod, it's a lot easier. Come on, one more, one more. Oh, okay, okay, back we go. Ah! Oh, jeez, that was close. Oh, Tempo Octopus, so cute. I continue wandering around for a little bit and find a structure with some prismarine blocks. This gives me an idea. If I could find an ocean monument, I could use all those beautiful blocks for my builds. So I get to collecting, even though it's getting ambushed every two seconds by drowns. Okay, those drowns definitely told on me, cause this guy nearly killed me. I kept my distance from those guys, but that didn't stop me from robbing their library. I'll be needing those books when I make my enchanting table. Anyway, I move on and find a sailboat. I'm gonna check it out. Whoa! This place has some pretty decent stuff. If I could get myself a trident, I could enchant it with that channeling book. And I noticed that their sail is made of wool. Exactly what I needed. I got a little carried away though and forgot to watch my air meter. Oh! Ow, ow, ow! Anyway, it's finally time to go home and make a few upgrades! I found so many diamonds just on my first day, so I treated myself with a diamond pickaxe. I made myself a bed, but I was definitely not going to sleep in a boring white one. Time to find some dye. I make a quick trip to the surface and literally grab the first flower I see. That will do for now. Finally, now I can sleep. Good night! It's time to release my little sea bunny. I tried to barricade my home enough so that it wouldn't escape, but I didn't have high hopes. Alright, enough of that, let's get back to work. I really wanted to find a way to grow this tree underwater, so I found a hill next to my house and started digging a little underground base. I had to make sure I could breathe there, so I mined while sitting in water, but I had to make sure this place had air for the tree. Almost done with my tree room. I just need to get some dirt. Well, there's my tree. I still don't think the room is big enough, so I expand it a little more. I leave the tree there and just hope for the best. Anyway, on to some more looting. This time I find an umbrella. It's a shield and looks super funny. <laughs> That's so awesome! That's so silly! Oh! <laughs> little sea bunny on the bed! 
Okay, I probably should work on... Jeez, oh my god. <laughs> on making an actual house. Well, you heard me. It's officially time to start building my real home. Oh my god. Jellyfish! Wow! I'm already sick of that dump of a home I'm staying in, and I don't even know how it's possible, but there's a mushroom house underwater. What? What the heck? Well, time to loot it. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. That was bad. That was really bad. I got a little carried away. Well, anyway, at this point I try to look around for a sea monument because I really want to use those blocks for my house. Instead, I come across a geode. This gives me a great idea. I could totally use the calcite and amethyst for building, so I literally grab every single block. I also find a giant skeleton thing. Free bone blocks. Still no sea temple, but there's these things absolutely everywhere. What is that? Oh my god! Pig pet? Freaking awesome! Oh! Ah! Goma! Goma, no! Jesus Christ, that scared me! Oh my god, there's a diamond in here. Ah! What is this? Why am I being ambushed? Can eat poison foods, gives you pork chops. Interesting, okay. Also, check this out. Huge whale. Whoa! What the heck? Oh shoot. Oh my god. I finally found a monument, and I was absolutely blown away by how colossal the building was. I'm like blown away. I've never seen the ocean monument like this before. Well, ah! Oh god, this scared me. Oh, what? Oh my god, is that a shark? It is a shark! No! Stay away! No jaws. Did I just mount the shark? Whoa! Ah, no, 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 it bit me. Oh my god, where am I? This is really creepy. I have a milk bucket, luckily. I'm gonna stay away from the center. I'm just gonna collect some blocks. I was using an ocean themed texture pack on top of my base texture pack, but I really didn't like how I made the prismarine bricks look, so I took it off. I think these textures look way better. Oh! What? What the f- OH MY GOD! OH MY GOD! Dude! Dude! What? Anyway, I spend the next day or so getting the blocks, and yes, I was getting ambushed every 5 seconds. At the end of it all, I got around four stacks. It's time to finally get out of here, but not before checking out how cool these whales are. I am so glad I am not whale food. It's day four now, and I don't keep track of the specific days all the time, but we're almost halfway there, and I still haven't started building anything. Got distracted by diamonds. Don't worry, I'm back home now, but there's a slight problem. Ow. Ow. No! Why do things keep mounting me? Let's just pretend that didn't happen. I look around for where I want to build my home. I had this really great idea in my head for what I'll build, and I think you guys will really like it. I finally decided on where to build, but I wasn't sure about my block pilot just yet. Regardless, I just wing it like I usually do.
Okay, small break. My sea bunny died. I don't know what happened. It either escaped or died. Anyway, time to start moving into my home. I'm still working on the exterior though. I just want my bed inside. Back to work. It's a seashell! I went hunting for more sea pickles and I found another sea bunny! Oh, hello fish! It's time to settle into my new home, so I organize my inventory and chess. I also start moving my stuff from the old house. I finally finish organizing and I take a trip to the surface to gather wood. I'm looking for a nice wood that will match my seashell house, but I know for that I'll eventually have to get some warped wood from the nether. What is going on up there? What? That's insane. What did the- <sighs> Okay. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh my god, it's a pyramid! No way! Okay, this is exciting. I didn't even notice this desert temple. Make sure that I don't... Uh, not drown, but the opposite of drown. Well, that problem seems to solve itself. <gasps> it all blew up. However, there seems to be a secret room. What? What the heck is this place? Is that gold? What? Oh! Whoa! Oh shoot! This was some pretty decent loot, so not all hope is lost. I even got an enchanted golden apple. It started to rain and I noticed that my bubbles were going down more slowly. Interesting. This is a little opportunity then. Okay, I'm gonna kill these cows. I continue looking around for wood at this point. This is super dangerous. Nighttime, rain, and I'm essentially a fish out of water. And good news, this mahogany wood is pink, so I decided to take it back home. I got as much as I could, then found my way back to the ocean. Mahogany doors acquired, and they're adorable. Alright, day 7 has come. I'm getting close to my 10th day, and there's still so much to do. And my tree still hasn't grown. I'll probably just repurpose that room for something else later. I found this axolotl fish person and decided to trade with him. Let's see what I got. Well, nothing special. Oh, I totally forgot to place my sea bunny again. <laughs> also, that axolotl guy gave me a great idea. Glowlicken would look so pretty on my seashell, but I'll work on that just a bit later. I'm currently digging up this stone crap so I can have a bit more building space. Also, check out this loot! I keep finding things left and right. I decide to collect some sand because I want to build something else, but it will require a lot of glass. Good news! Sea Bunny is still here! I know I'm jumping all over the place, but I still wanted to get some glow licking for my house.
I think this looks amazing. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> my little sea bunny. I didn't even get to name it. We're not even 10 days in and we already have two sea bunnies dead. Listen, I don't want to talk about it, but I am hosting a funeral. Let's just move on. So I want to build a farm, but my idea is going to be pretty complicated. I wanted to use warped wood, so I think it's time for me to go to the nether. This is obviously going to be a challenge in more ways than one. First, I need to find obsidian to make my portal underwater. Then I need to find a way to breathe in the nether. How the hell am I gonna do that? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. And no, it's not gonna be easy. Anyway, I decided to try to find a cave underwater with some lava. I ended up having no luck. I tried digging around for a while, still no luck. Eventually, I just dug straight down in random spots till I found a cave. Finally, an air cave. This is what I've been looking for. Oh, this is weird. That is such a funny- oh. Well, they're stripping lava here, but I didn't want to dig up into it, so I decided to try to find a proper lava pool. This cave was... scary, to say the least. I really didn't enjoy it. Oh, I need- oh my god, I need my water. Oh, this is a lot of things. Oh no. Oh no, there's maid fairies. Go away. Go away. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Get away from me. Stupid ghosts. They make funny noises though. Oh my god, there's so many mobs over there. I found this random base thing. I'm not really sure what it is, but it had some loot. At this point, I scrapped the idea of finding the lava pool. I'll just work with what I got. Oh shoot. This is perfect. I just gotta dig it out and then I can get my obsidian. I want to get 14 pieces so I can also make an enchanting table later on. You can guess how the next few minutes go. And... done. That was not boring whatsoever. Okay, time to get the hell out of here. Finally back home. I was smelting glass meanwhile, but I didn't really get that far since my chunks were unloaded. Damn it. After I did a bit of organizing, I go out to decide where to put my portal. I decided to make it under this wall, but I really wanted to make it look nice while still being underwater. Somehow. An underwater build is not complete without some sea pickles. Main structure is almost done, now it's time for the portal frame.
The portal is lit! It works! Wow, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's very enticing, but also terrifying. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to go through. This is a very violent way to start my day, but I needed to enter the nether to see how my mermaid form would react. Not only did my bubbles rapidly deplete, but I stepped on a fire flower. Ouch. I immediately abort and try to go back into the portal, but apparently I screwed that up and nearly got myself killed. As I anticipated, it didn't go well. Okay, wow. I am running away. I am running away. That was bad. Anyway, my only idea at this point was to make a cauldron and hope that if I sit in it with some water, I won't suffocate. And if it doesn't work, well, I am genuinely out of immediate options. Whoa! What? Mimic octopus, that's so cool! I wonder if he- Oh my god, that is awesome! They actually changed color! Dude! Okay, here we go. I'm praying that this will work. Mission failed. I thought of my backup idea, which was to make water breathing potions. But that requires brewing stands, which requires, right, the nether. So, now what? Well, I could try to find some potions and bury treasure chests, right? Ch oh, ow. Why am I taking damage? Why am I taking damage? Is it you? Oh my god. This place is so aggro. Luckily, I saved a buried treasure map, but I idiotically threw a few others away while I was looting earlier. Let's give this one a shot, though. I'm sleeping through the end of day 10 really quick, and now we can officially start day 11. By the way, an accurate day counter will be added on day 16. Alright, let's find this treasure. This looks like the spot. Jackpot! Two potions! That means six minutes in another. Ooh, and a diamond! So, the way water breathing works for a mermaid is that it allows me to breathe air by negating my bubble timer. It'll make more sense once you see it in action, but it works. I'm back home now. I'm going to make myself a diamond sword and chest plate before I go into the portal again. I think we're ready to go to the nether. Let's try this again since our cauldron method completely backfired. Okay, I'm here and I'm already on fire. Curse these stupid flowers. Time to drink my first potion. The countdown begins. Let's just hope I can find a blaze before I run out of time. I'm in complete panic focus mode during this entire trip. The lack of time really stressed me out. But I also wanted to collect a bit of warped wood since I got lucky with my spawn location. That's what I came to the nether for anyway. What is that? That's like a whole ass lava dinosaur. <gasps> Mushroom girl. Oh god, I'm already on my last potion. Damn it, I need to be quick. I don't even know if I'll be able to make it. Well, somehow I actually ended up finding a fortress. I didn't even notice it was there till a blaze shot at me since it blended in so well. Okay, in I go. In and out, just a few rods. The second I get my stuff, I'm teleporting to a waypoint back to my portal and getting the hell out of here. That's probably the only way I can make it out of here alive, let's be honest. Ooh, nether wart. I need this too and I completely forgot. I ran around the fortress like crazy, but I didn't get a single blaze rod. I have to TP back to my portal now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
No, 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 no. Holy crap. One heart. That was genuinely the most terrifying loading screen of my life. Damn it, now I have to do this all again. I need more potions. I look up some recipes to see if there's alternative ways of getting water breathing. Apparently there is. This squid pet could potentially work. Well, I craft one since I can. I'm praying this little guy will actually work for me. Oh my god, this makes us really fast! <laughs> this is insane, no way. Whee! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that is crazy, what the heck? This is faster when you're not even in, in swim form. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't tell me. Welp, that was a fail. Time to go looking for more treasured maps. Well, here's one. Let's see where it leads to. Potions. In other news, I found a pirate ship. Uh oh. This water was actually a lifesaver and kept me out of reach from these vindicators. They're all dead. Let's see what loot I got. Honestly, nothing special. Back to searching for a map. I was just wandering around on the surface for a while, trying to find a village with a brewing stand, not realizing I would still need blaze powder to power it. But I instead found an igloo. Okay, well, I have a brewing stand, but I still need to freaking power it. These little sand things are cool. Diamond, sponge, and an ocelot pet. I spent so much freaking time looking for maps, it was driving me crazy. Just be thankful I can cut all that out for you guys. Finally! Potions! I'm back home. It's time to organize, then get back into the nether. Hopefully, the next trip will be more successful. Here we go. I'm not scared at all. I teleport to my fortress waypoint just to save me a little time. Now let's get to work. The ocelot pet gave me some serious night vision. It's almost too bright. This already got super dangerous. Luckily, I have a lot of golden apples. Hi. Please, please, please. Yes! Yes! Yay! First place rod acquired! Okay, let me eat. Charge! Yes! Yes! These chests were pretty good too. Here you are. Nope, you can't hit me now, can ya? Okay, got another one, yes! Okay, we got three blaze rods. That's enough for now. I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, three blaze rods. I can work with that. It's time to get some brewing going.
These Wilden Spikes can be used for water breathing, and luckily I collected a few. Yes! Oh, eight minutes too! Oh my god, this is amazing. We can make another one now. Yay! I have four more spikes, which means potions for days. Now we can go back, but this time to collect resources for my next build project. I'm going back to the warp forest to collect as much of these trees as I can. I'm going to need quite a bit. Can't forget the glowstone, a must-have for every build project. Oh! Hi! Oh my god, I'm coming back for you. Mushroom girl spotted. You know what this means. I went back home to get some rotten flesh and a tiny bed. Now I can go back and tame her. Yay! A new friend! I'll have to make sure not to let her die like my sea bunnies did. I had to use up a water breathing potion just to tame her, so I decided to explore the surface until my effect runs out. I want to try to find some sugar cane since I'll be needing that if I ever want to reach my quest goal of enchanting. Oh, what is that? Do you see that? This is something I've never seen before. I was so curious and just had to explore. I noticed the blocks are from the mod Hexaray, so I guess that's where the structure comes from? I am a big fan of these houses. This place looks so insanely cozy, especially in the rain. Wow, this is awesome. Dude, mermaids are missing out. Check this out, they even have a cool witch garden. I have two more minutes until my potion runs out, so I continue gathering resources. Oh, lizard! Hello! I need to make an air, air dry place for all of my little pets. Because it's not a love star series without a bunch of pets. <laughs> I'm back home! Let's get back to business. It was nice taking a little break up on the surface, but the ocean is my home after all. I want to first place down my mushroom girl so she can stretch her legs. Eventually, I'll need to give all my future air-breathing pets a nice home. I'm gonna name you... Lava Cake. Lava Cake doesn't really have a good home, but hopefully this warp fungus helps. Even though she's a crimson girl. Oops. My house is so incredibly disorganized. I'm too lazy to sit down and make a proper chest system. Gotta make sure I'm smelting as much glass as I can, cause it's time to work on the build I've been planning this whole time. I quickly went out to plant all my sugar canes so it can start growing while I build. I think I forgot to sit lava cake down. Oh shoot! Lava cake, no! Oh, she hit him! Oh no, die. Oh my god, lava cake. That was very dangerous, she slapped that creeper. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back inside. You need to sit down. Okay? Just stay here. The build has officially begun. It took me a while to finally get to it. Now, just letting you guys know, I'm completely winging this. I have no real plan, no strategy, just a rough vision. For the record, I genuinely don't know if I'll be able to finish this build in this video. It might take me more than these 20 days. Day counter is here. Oh, and a new mod, Unusual Fish. I absolutely love it. Such silly creatures. I just remembered that I can finally replace my doors with warped, just as I originally intended. Much better, don't you think? I have to go up to get some sand. Not sure why I didn't sleep through the night first, though. 
On the bright side, I got to level 30! The shoveling goes on for quite a while. Thank god that's over, at least for now. I'm taking these pufferfishes back up potion ingredients. I forgot that I could just kill them instead of trapping them in buckets though. But who wants to kill poor innocent pufferfish? Yeah, I kill them anyway. Sorry little guys. Sand smelting time! Yay! Not sure how I feel about these pop-ups. The day counter is in the game, so not sure what I can do about that. What the hell is this thing? Oh my gosh, I got the Rana hat. I love this one. Coal mining's free. I need this for fueling my sand smelting. I'm still not producing enough glass, so it's time to upgrade my smelting factory. I wanted to check up on lava cake, and miraculously, the tree grew. It trapped my poor girl inside the leaves though. I love her so much. Snatched up the sea bunny, third time's the charm, right? Just gonna make this so it's ready for later. How fun! More sand collecting! This build is incredibly tedious. It really only gets worse from here. This has become my favorite part of underwater building. Sea pickles! Had to get some more though. They just add such a beautiful glow, especially at night. We're just going to ignore the orca stuck inside my house. Anyway, I finished the exterior of my build for now. Here comes the torturous part, draining the inside. I make use of the sponges I collected from the little sand structures from earlier, but this is my first time properly using sponges, so I really don't know how to use them effectively. Okay, this clearly isn't efficient. I decide to tackle this a different way. I had a lot of calcite stored up from mining out some geodes, so I make use of it to divide the building into four quadrants. This way, I can drain smaller areas at once. This seems to work a little smoother. I took a break to go looking for more sponges, cause if I want to get this draining done by day 20, I'm going to need a lot more. I'm back with tons of sponge. This should be way easier now. Less swimming back and forth to dry them off. The only sad part of this is that the coral is dying. Well, my test quadrant officially worked. Time to put up the other walls and get to work. It's day 20 and I have one more quadrant left. I hope to finish this before the day ends. Everything is drained, but the day isn't over yet. Let's get rid of this calcite too. 
I am finally done! It looks so cool inside without all the water. Even looking out into the ocean inside of this structure is awesome. Now we just gotta work on the interior, but that'll be for next time. We officially begin day 21. There's still a lot of work to be done on the dome I built, so let's get to it. Let's get rid of this dead coral. I start building the first floor inside the dome, the entry level. I get to use the waterfalls as elevators, which is pretty cool. I also make a waterfall in each corner of the dome. Now it's time to make an upper floor, this time for the farm. Although I'm missing one important part, the dirt. Time to collect some. This was oddly therapeutic. Now that I have enough dirt for a lifetime, it's time to place it down. I'm so excited to actually grow crops underwater. How cool is that? Luckily, the waterfalls are sufficient to wet the soil across the entire surface, which is a big plus. And done. Let's get the seeds now, but not before a quick nap. This bucket is so efficient at breaking the grass, which means I can get loads of seeds while keeping my mermaid form hydrated. Okay, enough of that. I want to get back to the ocean. Much better. I am officially a mermaid farmer. This place definitely needs better lighting if I want to grow my wheat. Back downstairs, I want to make a mini terrarium inside here with some greenery, but I realize I don't have any grass or silk touch to get said grass. Well, this sucks. I guess I'll just use moss instead. It'll be a grass substitute until I can get a grass block. Maybe from an enderman drop or something. The moss looks really nice to be honest. I like it a lot! Let's see if I can grow a tree. Hell yes! Well, I gotta get some more dirt to fill in this terrarium thing. I'll leave this bit open so I can have a nice entrance. Okay, the fact that I can't have any grass inside my terrarium is really bugging me. I go up to the surface on a risky mission to kill an enderman, and hopefully steal some grass blocks. What the he- Okay. I was getting ganged up by so many different monsters, and I unfortunately didn't see any endermen before the sun came up. Damn it. Welp, I guess we can just use the moss. Now I can finally place my beautiful flowers I picked earlier. Okay, let's see what's- <gasps> Oh no! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Dude. What the hell? Dude, that freaking creeper just blew a giant hole into my dome. I can't believe I forgot to light it up down here! I guess I got used to not having to do that underwater. Well, it's time to do a little bit of rebuilding. Luckily, I had some spare glass in my shell house. It's super dark in here. Lesson learned, I hope. Back to business. 
I'm making another floor under here. Not sure for what yet, but I'll figure it out. I do need the extra space whenever I decide to adopt more creatures against their will. That does remind me, Lava Cake deserves to move into the dome now. I think the terrarium floor will be a nice change of environment for her. It's different than where she came from, but hopefully she can grow to appreciate it. We have another room down there. I'm not really sure what to put in there just yet, but we'll figure it out. Ow. What? What hit me? I was just thinking about what I need to build next. Um, you know what? Oh, we need a cow farm. Um, right. So, well, we have to stick to the underwater theme. So how the hell am I going to get underwater cows? I really need to get leather for enchanting, but I'm kind of stumped. After a while of thinking, I get an interesting idea, to say the least. All I know is that I'm going to get underwater cows one way or another. There we go. Okay, so- ooh, hi. <laughs> okay, so our basic cow enclosure is ready. Now I just need to get some leads. Getting those cows under the water and into a small container is not going to be easy. This reminds me, I honestly haven't seen any cows since I killed that one herd a while ago. Oops. Manchagora! A cute Manchagora appears, and luckily, I was able to befriend her. I'm going to go for a quick stop by the local mushroom house to grab some resources. I also come across some Alliums, my favorite Minecraft flower. I found the remaining cow from my previous slaughter. Unfortunately, I only left one, so I gotta go find another one after this. I sat down my Mandragora during this without thinking, and I completely forgot about her for the remainder of this video, so I'll have to make sure to pick her up next time. Okay, let's go, don't drown. Come in here! Come in here! Cow! Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Oh, shoot. Don't drown. Oh, God. Okay, maybe I have to make, like, a trap door. So, I officially almost killed my one and only cow. Let's try to do this another way. This water will protect the cow from fall damage. Okay, hopefully this works better. Come here, cow. If you die, I'm killing you. Yes! It worked! Just gotta find another one. Oh god. 
Okay, let's go find a cow. I gotta look for some new land to search at this point. Oh my god, there's another temple! And so close to the first one too! I gotta check it out. What the- Dude, what just happened? I didn't even go inside that thing! I swear, these temples are actually rigged. Well, I head inside anyway because I know there's a secret room that doesn't get blown up. Uh oh, creepers! I'm not mad about the loot, even if the rest got blown up. Well, let's get out of here. I still need that damn cow. God, I literally walk around for ages without seeing a single cow. I eventually spot an interesting looking village and decide to stay for the night. At least I got to see a beautiful rainbow. Well, I can't stay here for long. Time to keep moving. This view is beautiful. These mushroom houses have become basically a truck stop for me. I've been wandering around for ages by now, so it's nice to see a welcoming spot for a change. In other news, I found this epic dungeon. Whoa! Oh my god, these dungeons never fail to amaze me. I mean, I'm not going in there, but it's cool! I find it very ironic how I managed to find this before a cow. I've been traversing very hot climate biomes up to this point, so seeing this plain old forest gave me a sign of hope. There was a savanna right behind the forest, but I know for a fact cows can still spawn here. I want to go back to the ocean already. <gasps> cows! 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 Oh my gosh, finally. This was the happiest I've ever been to see a freaking cow. I decide to make a few extra leads with the rope I found in the temple so I can take a few more cows home. Save myself a bit of trouble breeding them. Off we go. Let's hope these guys don't get tired of swimming. Oh! I see you up there. Don't think you're escaping me. I have an extra lead, so I might as well use it. Now they can all come home with me, and never touch the land again. You know, transporting animals across the ocean is a lot easier and faster than on land. Okay, we're finally home. Now I gotta bring them under. I'm gonna do one at a time just to be safe. I'm so happy it worked. Now I'm one step closer to getting enchanted diamond armor. I'm going to need some serious gear if I ever want to defeat the ghost of Captain Cornelia, but we'll discuss that later. Now I'm just going to make sure lava cake is still alive and then harvest my wheat. I want to place down these flowers. I'm sure it makes lava cake happy. Okay, now that our cow project is complete, I want to make some more cool builds. This time, something within this cave. 
I want to eventually expand my living space so I can have more room for all my equipment that I'll need along my 100 day journey. So let's get to work. I again don't really have a solid plan, but underwater building is all about experimentation and having fun for me. Before I start building, I'm gonna have to get some more materials. I head over to the sea monument, then get distracted by this glowing fish. Unfortunately, it's hostile and attacks me. <laughs> it even breaks a piece of my armor. I try to fight it off, but this quickly escalates into something way worse. Oh god, that freaking fish riding a drowned is so dangerous. I try to kill this stupid glowing fish, but it's surrounded by drowns. The hitbox on this thing is so goddamn hard to hit! Finally, it's dead! Jeez, that was ridiculous! I'm just gonna mine on this end of the monument and hope I don't get disturbed. Uh, of course. I have to swim back home to get some milk buckets. At least I have some underwater cows for my underwater milk. Back to the monument. For now, I'm just gonna grab some stuff from this thing instead. It looks like the back of the monument is safe, at least for now. I just hope to avoid the mining fatigue effect, because I really don't want to go inside and kill the Elder Guardians. Okay, so this isn't working anymore. I drink my last milk and hope for the best. This corner seems to be in the clear. Dang it, not for long. I went back home to organize and remove my effect. For now, let's just focus on the build. I did manage to get quite a bit of prismarine. Hi. <laughs> the scrimp. <laughs> As I was saying, I was thinking of calling this place my mermaid lair. It's not going to be my house, but I do plan on building a bigger house for myself later on. Something more like a mermaid castle or whatever. So, this layer is going to be more of my working area. I'll probably move my brewing stuff over here as well as set up my enchanting room. I'm not gonna lie, figuring out what and how to build in the ocean while sticking to the mermaid theme has been a big challenge. I wouldn't consider myself the most creative person, especially not when I'm building in survival, so my ideas have been pretty limited. Luckily, at this point, I did manage to get some pretty cool ideas in my head of what I want to build for this mermaid world. I just hope I can actually bring them to life, you know? Dude, I freaking love octopuses. Anyway, I am going to have to mine some amethyst for my build. Okay, enough of that. Don't mind me, just doing a little bit of seaweed farming. Back to work.
Okay, so I went back to the monument to get more blocks, this time in peaceful mode. I know, I know, but seriously, I'm tired of getting ambushed and fatigued every two seconds in this place. Just let me have this one. I was actually able to craft one sea lantern with some of the stuff I got from killing guardians, I think. I'll save that for later. Not sure what to do with it yet. Honestly, this build is really abstract. I was going for something a little different in my head, but honestly, I think it turned out pretty cool. Very natural yet mystical. This is the point where I figure out that I can bone meal stuff underwater to grow seagrass and corals. I gotta try this out. Dude, this looks amazing. How did I never know this existed? Gotta play some more glow looking too. But seriously, I went a little crazy with the seagrass. I was hoping for coral. It's supposed to grow in warm oceans. Hmm, I'm not a fan of all the stone around here. Let me go get some sand. Man, I love collecting sand. Not gonna lie, I think this looks way better. Unfortunately, I can't seem to get the corals to grow. <sighs> sad face. Well, if I can't have pretty corals, I can at least find some pretty sea pickles. I ended up finding diamonds before that, though. What the hell just happened? I just lost half of my health? I think I lagged or something. Dude, even more diamonds! They're so common underwater! Okay, that's just ridiculous. I've been having a hard time finding any sea pickles outside my home reef, honestly. Well, that's all of them. It's day 29, what else can I do? I'll probably have to grab some more warped wood before I continue building, so I guess I'll just do that. Well, here we go again. Don't mind me crossing the worst bridge placed above lava ever constructed. Gotta make sure I have my umbrella on, you know, in case it rains. I found this warped mushroom girl, but unfortunately I didn't bring any rotten flesh to tame her. Oh well. I'll just collect some warped wood and get out of here. Oh 
Oh my god, guys, it's a rare warped girl. She's so shiny! Okay, okay, I can skip out on a regular warped girl, but the rare ones are so hard to come by. I'll have to take her home. It's day 30, so my time is almost up. I'm like totally freaking out. I'm not even thinking straight. Just trying to trap her in some hole so I can go grab some rotten flesh. Okay, there we go. That wasn't so hard if I just turned on my brain. Let's get out of here and be really quick because I'm not sure if she's going to despawn or not. Rotten flesh and tiny bit acquired. Go, go, go! Okay, so my game crashed as I was trying to put her in a tiny bed, and I didn't realize the recording stopped until now. Oops. Anyway, you didn't miss much. I just brought her home and introduced her to Lava Cake. The first thing on my to-do list for our 40-day journey is to pick up my Mandragora, who I accidentally abandoned while I was getting my cows. I'm sorry I forgot about you. Thank goodness she managed to teleport inside the sea dome. Now she can finally meet her sisters. Speaking of which, I picked out a name for a warp mushroom gal thanks to your guys' lovely suggestions. And I decided to go with the name Aqua Cake, which matches perfectly with our girl Lava Cake. It's so adorable. I seriously can't get over how beautiful Aqua Cake's glow is. Anyway, I'm going to clear out my inventory so we can begin our next project. My chests are so incredibly disorganized. I just really don't have enough space inside of my seashell for everything I find, so I think it's best I make a storage building. Which will come especially handy for when I eventually build a mermaid castle. For this storage room, I'm going to need a lot of yellow glazed terracotta. So I make myself a diamond shovel and get to collecting. I'm really excited for this storage room design, and I won't tell you what it is straight up, so you'll just have to wait and see. Big ass fish. <gasps> it's a little snail. <laughs> okay, I won't. I won't. I need to not do that all the time. <laughs> oh my god! What is in your mouth? What is that? You're holding something too. Hey, that's leather. Can I have that? Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Ahem. Anyway. I skip the night in this abandoned village by the coast, then continue collecting my clay. Just as I'm about to wrap up my clay collecting, I see this in my inventory. <gasps> I can't believe I found goose eggs. Now I really want a goose pet. I'm not sure if I can hatch a goose egg, but I'll have to give it a shot when I'm back home. Damn it, the goose eggs must be like chicken eggs then. I'll need a lot more eggs if I want to get my own goose. Well, whatever, I'm just gonna continue working in my storage room. I'll first convert all of my clay into blocks, and then it's time to cook. Now that that's cooking, I'm going to need some yellow dye. I have to find a flower outside that I can bone meal, similar to a rose bush, so that I can get yellow dye. I know there must be something out there that can work. I thought originally I'll look for sunflowers, but I got really lucky instead. Hmm. Can I bone meal this? 
<laughs> oh. Problem solved. Don't you just love lag? Anyway, this is perfect. I can have infinite amounts of yellow dye now, and it's literally just two steps away from my home reef. Before I go back to the ocean, let me not forget about my sugarcane. This little dye side quest reminded me of something you guys told me about in the comments. Apparently, you can bone meal sea pickles. I did not know that. Now I'll never run out of my favorite little sea decor blocks. Now I need to get some moss for my storage room. I'm using up a lot of bones here with all of the bone mealing I have to do, so I need to remember to kill skeletons when I see them. I got a lot of extra azalea bushes, so I might as well grow some trees around the shore. This happens more often than you might think. <laughs> I did use a water breathing potion while collecting moss, so I might as well go hunt some skeletons while I can. Look at this adorable lizard! If only it had some apples to tame it. I was getting a little overwhelmed by how many mobs were after me, so I tamed this giant Gorgogora to help me out. She's supposed to fight for me, but I think she got a little confused. Safe to say she didn't really help. At least now I have a friend. Although, I'm just gonna let her chill up here. I'll name her Cheesecake. I know she's a pumpkin, but I think it's a cute name. This is officially my favorite sea creature ever. Also, look at how cute this hat is! Oh my god! Let me plant these flowers I collected really quick. My collection only grows. Sneep snorp! I can't with this mod! Dude, I can't express to you how happy this fish made me. The joy I get from just seeing it with its silly stupid name is incredible. The Sneep Snorp. I love you. I knew I couldn't just let it sit in my house. I needed to give this guy a proper place to live. On to my side project. Yep, that's right. I'm making a tiny aquarium for my Sneep Snorp. After a bit of tedious water bucketing, I was able to finally place him down. Sneep Snorp! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> I haven't forgotten about you, little guy. Okay, I seriously can't stop getting distracted. I still have a storage room to build. Now that my terracotta is ready, I'm gonna have to dye it and then run it through the furnaces again. Oh, and I'm officially out of coal. Great. <laughs> This becomes a recurring issue for me, because I need to smelt a lot of stuff in this world. I know I can just use wood or something like that, but I like the luxury stuff, you know? God, that took forever. At least my Sneep Snorp's still here. Anyway, my glazed terracotta is finally ready. I can finally start building! Oh, you really believe that? <laughs> no, no. I can't start yet. I have to cook food first. You can't build storage rooms on an empty stomach now, can you? I'm trying to experiment with seafood. You know, because I'm a mermaid. Also, my weed is grown, but I've yet to harvest it. Apparently it's not light enough in here because some of this stuff isn't growing, so I'll just add some torches real quick.
I know, I'm still not building. To be fair, this is for my own good. I do need to harvest wheat and breed cows for my survival. On another note, my hearts for some reason are poisoned. It seems to be a glitch and drinking milk doesn't help. I had to restart my game a few times because this keeps happening later on. Okay, there we go. Now my hearts are back to normal. Anyway, now it's finally time to get working on my build. I scout around the area for a good location. This might be a good spot. I begin clearing out a little bit of space to work. Now I can place down my beautiful terracotta. Perhaps you can guess what I'm building by now. It's a bit different than my other builds, but I love it so far. Anyway, I have to take a break and head up to the surface. I collected some more yellow dye, but now I need more clay and also bones, so I'll hunt skeletons while I'm at it. Oh shoot! Oh, he's really angry. Get him, creeper! Don't mess with the mermaid, bro. Now that that's over, I'll be over here collecting my clay. Time to go home. Jumping into the water is always so satisfying. <gasps> You're coming with me. I should just make a proper aquarium at this point. Anyway, now I have some more glazed terracotta ready to go. Okay, this part of my build took way too much time. And yes, I'm building a pineapple under the sea! I of course have to add some sea pickles. I really gotta liven up the place around here. It needs to be fun and colorful. I also made a really cool gold door that matches the pineapple perfectly. The inside really needs some lighting. There, that's better. Now of course since this pineapple is a storage room, I'll need plenty of chests. Time to get some wood. Get- get out of here! What the heck? Yeah. That's right. Stupid. I celebrated my victory against those phantoms in front of this beautiful rainbow. Anyway, back to collecting wood. I just had to sleep off that thunderstorm, but dang, it's like every mob is out to kill me. I made some chests and signs, now I'm ready to organize. I just realized how stupid it is to have an uneven amount of blocks inside of a storage room. I had to play around with the design here for a while. I utilized these fantasy furniture chests since they can be placed under full blocks and still open. Sweet. Now this top part is going to be tricky. My first idea was to put fridges in there, since they're only one block wide and I could fit three of them, which essentially means three double chests worth of storage. Are you kidding me? Okay, on to another idea. What about these cool bookshelves? Surely these could work. They can fit into that little corner and then I can fit in some barrels or something on the remaining empty space. And they look so cool too. I actually love this. I'm starting to really love how chaotic this place looks. Now I can start labeling all of my chests. Um, so... As I was trying to place some of my stuff in the bookshelves I made, I realized something horrible. 
You can't place any actual items in there. Only books. Are you kidding me? I'm so sad that I can't even use these bookshelves now. I end up replacing them with these wardrobes instead, because at least these ones can store any type of item. Anyway, I begin the grueling process of moving everything from my shell house into my storage room. This whale came by to say hello. After a while of organizing, I go up to collect my wheat. Except I'm getting tired of doing this by myself. What if I use my soul spell to summon a maid? Maybe then she can help me collect some wheat. I think this will really help out. Let me just give her a cool skin first. I found this one, a girl in a shark sweater. I'm sure some of you will recognize her design. But come on, she's a shark girl. She's perfect for my underwater world. Now she will get to work collecting this wheat, and hopefully by the time I return, she will have some to give me. Also, feel free to leave a name suggestion for her in the comments if you want. Back to organizing. Ugh. Okay, I'm finally done with that. It took me forever to move everything over, but I really like staying organized in Minecraft. Alright, let's begin the next project on my to-do list. I want to set up my brewing room. I pick this corner of my mermaid layer to set up shop. Now I gotta move all my brewing supplies over. I use my furniture station to pick out some cute decor I can use. There are so many tiny items to collect. I made this lockbox to store my supplies. It's kind of like a toolbox. The rest of the decorations are just so adorable. Alright, I think that's it for now. I'll have to get more brewing stands later. I do need a place to grow my nether wart though. I think I'll make a little room for it here. Okay, while I'm doing this, I wanted to share a little secret with you guys. I'm trying to get my brewing room and enchanting room ready quick, because I'm actually going to be heading out to find an ice maze soon. The ice maze is a rare frozen ocean biome from the Aquamarae mod. It's a very hostile place, but it's vital for me to visit if I ever want to progress in the mod and learn about the fate of Captain Cornelia. My ultimate goal is to fight the terrifying boss who rules over the ice maze, known as the ghost of Captain Cornelia. I want to know what happened to her. What's her story? The only way to find out is to venture out for myself. Well, anyway, I realized I completely forgot to take Soul Sand home, so it's time for me to make a quick stop to the nether. This guy is terrifying. I don't even know how I had the courage to challenge him. Not believe I forgot about you. All right, time to go home. Now I can finish my netherwart room. It's gonna have to be airtight. Well, that was pretty easy. This layer still needs a lot of work, but I'll get back to that in just a second. I want to add some small decor to my pineapple. These tiny things are just so fun to place around. Also, this gave me a really cool idea. I'm just gonna need some pink dye for it. While I'm at it, I just tend it to my farms. Now I can use my dye to make some stained glass. Alright, let's see how this goes. What do you think? They're supposed to be little jellyfish. 
These are going to add some really nice ambient light to my home reef. I really want this area to be bright and cozy, so hopefully as I keep building more things, it'll start to look nicer. I really don't like how this gravel looks, so I try to liven it up a little bit with some seagrass. This is coming along nicely. I'll add a few more lights around the place. So pretty! Okay, you know what time it is. Enchanting room time! Luckily, with plenty of time to prepare, I've managed to make 19 bookshelves. That's definitely enough for level 30 enchants. Anyway, I picked this corner to make my enchanting room, so after I close it off and decorate the walls, my mermaid layer will look a lot more clean. I have the right bookshelf placement, but unfortunately water negates their effect, so this enchanting room will have to be airtight. I gather some materials I need for my enclosed room. I still want the enchanting area to be visible, so I decide to make a glass wall, which means sand collecting time! This should be enough. While the glass is melting, I'll go work on the walls. There we go, a nice glass archway. I'm going to put an amethyst ceiling for extra magic vibes. With the doors installed, our enchanting room is ready to be drained of water. Once I'm done tidying up the stone walls, I'll bring out the sponges. significantly easier than draining the sea dome. This place really needs some decor now. I grab some leaves from the surface so I can add a bit of nature to my enchanting area. I love these leaves. I'm almost ready to start enchanting. I just gotta clean up the place a little bit more. It's almost done. I'm also going to replace the floors here with dark prismarine. Okay, now let's enchant. Gotta make sure I grab my lapis and diamonds. I'll need some new gear for this. This lockbox is where I'm gonna keep my lapis. Oh, and guess what? Aqua Cake will be joining us today. It's about time I got full diamond armor. I forgot I'll be needing a grindstone for this. That's better. Alright, I think that means I completed this quest. Fully enchanted diamond armor. It's not very good enchanted diamond armor, but it counts. Now that I have my armor sorted, I'm gonna go collect some XP so I can enchant my tools. Soon, I'll be ready to go to the ice maze, although I'm honestly terrified. Anyway, this will be a good opportunity for me to go mining and collect some resources. I'm seriously having a coal shortage here. What the hell? Floating islands! What? That is so cool! Awesome! Sheep pet! I totally found enough coal and XP by now. I'm waiting until day 40 comes so I can go home and do my final preparations. There we go! 
All right, let's go home. Well, this enchant isn't great, but it'll do for now. I don't plan on having this diamond sword for long anyway. I also want to make a good bow before I head out. This iron bow will help me out. Now I just gotta clear out my inventory and I'll be ready to go. Ice maze, here I come. I end off day 40 with the beginning of a dangerous yet intriguing adventure. Our destination of the ice maze is marked on my mini-map, as it's quite a rare and faraway biome. I'm going to be traveling for a while. I probably should have brought water breathing potions. Not too far inland, I spot a lavender forest. As a purple lover, of course I had to check it out. It's so beautiful here. I decided I would grab some lavender so I can have plenty of purple dye back home. Anyway, let's continue our journey. This involved a lot of boring swimming, although I could honestly watch my mermaid form swim graciously for hours. It's so oddly satisfying. While I'm at it, I'll grab these bookshelves so I can decorate my home later. I found an obsidian skull in this chest. It gives me temporary fire immunity. Awesome. Dude, what? That is so awesome. I have a skull belt. After a while of traveling, I finally feel like I'm getting somewhere. Ooh, there's something over here. There's some ice. We must be getting closer. Little did I know just exactly where I ended up. This is so pretty though. What is that? <gasps> Wait, this is the ice maze. This is the ice maze. <gasps> oh my god. I need to kill those things. I need to kill those things. I think they're called Mo Moas. Okay, I really gotta kill those things. But we're actually We're in the ice maze. There's a ship. Oh my god. I'm so nervous too, but there's a bunch of fairies. Get away. Oh shoot. Oh my god, why are there phantoms? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, did I take a bed? I don't have a bed. Oh my god, I need to sleep. Oh shoot. What is that? I am in a desperate situation here. I'll go look for some sheep to make a bed. I couldn't find any before the sun started to rise, so I suppose making a bed can wait. I want to keep exploring the ice maze while I can. <gasps> Hello, Magikoras. Oh, I'm so nervous. What even is that? Oh, whoa. This is fancy. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, not to this. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna go back to that ship. Ooh, yes. Hello. The Mao. The Mao. I need to kill these things. Yes. I need to collect these fins so I can make myself a set of terrible armor. I know the name can be deceiving, but it's actually quite a good set. Alright, let's see what the ship has to offer. Hello? Where are they at? Oh! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, oh my god, wait. Nothing scares me more than these Vindicators. Can't get me up here. Yes! Maybe I can go inside the ship. I think that'll be better. Ooh, hi. Oh my god, jump scare. <gasps> Whoa, what is that? Most of these chests just have fish and random farming supplies. Ooh, pirate pouch. <gasps> Wait, I'm getting cold. It's cold in here. <sighs> That's so bad. That is so bad. <laughs> I know that if I go into the like water under the ice maze, I'm gonna start freezing, which is not good. <laughs> Cause I actually need to go down there to get some stuff. <gasps> Whoa. I think I'm ready to move on to the other parts of the ship. I decided to flank the pillagers inside the captain's quarters.
Look, I'm freaking freezing. That's so bad. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> Summons Captain Cornelia. We killed the freaking ship captain. Oh my god. We can summon Captain Cornelia. I'm not ready for that. I'm not summoning her. Not anytime soon. Okay, what does this say? Let's check this out. Let's sit down in the captain's quarters. More than a day has passed since the captain's dive. She was wearing the only diving suit we had, so we couldn't help her in any way. Worst of all, she had the master key with her. As our hopes of rescue dwindle, the threat of rebellion grows. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I took the book. I'm gonna collect these. I should make like a little library for them. <gasps> Infinity! Oh my gosh. Sharpness 3, protection 3, oh my god, what? That is so awesome. Oh my god, I actually got the freaking thing, oops, oop, oops, to, to get to spawn her in. I'm actually so excited. I'm really nervous though. This is so awesome though. Okay, so I definitely need to collect some more stuff because I need materials for the terrible armor set that I want to make. Ooh. <gasps> Power 4! Damn, okay. But that means I have to go underwater which is gonna be really bad. Well, I'm gonna have to go down there because I actually have to kill some of the uh, little anglerfish guys. Oh man, I'm really nervous. I'm gonna start burning. I mean, not burning, <laughs> I, mean, I mean the opposite of burning. Maybe I can find some more mouse if I look around. They seem to be a little bit rarer than I expected them to be, but hopefully, Hopefully we see some. This place is very scary. Oh my god, look at this! Oh, it's a baby! You're so cute! Oh my god. I think I'm ready to go under the ice and try to find some anglerfish. I'll need to kill them so I can get some materials for my new armor. Ooh, they're all coming after me and now I'm freezing. I think if I, if I get too close to the actual ice. Ugh, ugh. Get away, get away. Jesus! Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared me so bad. Did I get any? Please tell me they dropped some of that stuff. I think they did, but I think it dropped. Like it fell. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Oh, thank god. Oh, I needed that and the sun is setting. That's not good. I still can't sleep. Here's another one. I don't have any more arrows. Oh no, I'm frozen. I got frostbite. No, get me out. It's so dangerous here at night that I don't think I can explore anymore until it turns day. I go back to the forest and try to find some sheep to make a bed. After a while of wandering desperately, I found some. I can't believe my luck, honestly. I decide to make a sleeping bag so I don't lose my respawn point back at home. It's a bright sunny day now, but I'm not done with the ice maze just yet. Let's go back. The freezing waters are so annoying, it's literally impossible to live here as a mermaid. I keep looking for some anglerfish to fight. They're so scary, though. I'm scared of you no more. That's right. Ooh, I'm scared of you, though. Come here! Anglerfish. Be gone! Yay! God, I hate these things. Alright, three more anglerfish to go. Yippee! Yes, I got it! Woohoo! I finally can make some armor, except for the chest plate because I'm still missing one piece, the echo of the ship graveyard, but I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Just with two pieces of the armor on, I get the half set effect. When I take damage in the water, my swimming speed increases. Cool. I feel ready to conquer this pillager tower now.
Another log. Entry 34. These beasts from the depths prowl for someone to devour. One of those critters has already eaten our midshipman. Swallowed him whole along with his crossbow. Holy crap. I believe the entry was referring to the mouse. Scary. Most of this tower didn't have much of interest. I found a few diamonds in a chest, but the rest was nothing special. My next and final objective for the ice maze is to find a tunnel that leads to the underground shelter. There, I might be able to find some Echo of the Ship graveyards, which I need to make my terrible chestplate along with some other gear. My only issue is that I can't seem to find any tunnels. I look around for ages and find nothing. I've walked so far that I found a mushroom island. What the hell? Something about finding a mushroom island next to an ice maze makes me feel like I'm at the edge of the world. It's really ominous. This is really cool though. Comforting in a way. Well, I can't stay for too long. I'm still looking for a tunnel. After a while of searching, I think I finally found a tunnel that leads to the underground shelter. Here we go! This plunge into the depths will make you quickly realize just how horrible the freezing waters are. Oh shoot! Oh my god, oh my god. This is so confusing and chaotic. I can't even tell what is ice, water, or air at this point. Is that water? What is going on down there? I just tried to dig through the ice until I can get into the big opening where the shelter is. This was easier said than done. Well, I think I made it. My plan again is to cowardly dig through the ice. Jesus Christ! Okay, that's a lot of mobs. At least, it's a little bit more dry up here, but holy crap, that's a lot of things. Do you see that? That's an eel. I am officially terrified. <gasps> okay, I'm sorry. Bro, chill. That's a lot of health. That is a lot of health. That's a creeper right there. Hi. He has a lot of health. Okay. And he's healing. That's also nice. I'm no longer fighting you. I'm just going to leave you alone. Is that okay? Like, can we just not? Stop! So now that he knows I'm here, he refuses to stop roaring, showing his dismay with my presence. He will not stop screaming, but I really don't think I can kill him, not without a terrible sword at least. Terrible swords occasionally land critical hits, which will be a big help in killing not only the eels, but the ghost of Captain Cornelia too. I really want to explore this place, but I'm so scared. Everything here is trying to kill me, even the water that's supposed to keep me alive. I'm getting dangerously close to running out of food. I can't stay here for long. Oh, did you see that? He dropped an echo of the ship graveyard. This is what I'll be needing plenty of to make the aquamarine gear and weapons. Using this first piece, I can make my full set of terrible armor. I'll sit inside the ice for a bit to organize myself.
full set. Terrible armor. It looks really freaking weird on me, but that's okay. Thank Poseidon I have some raw fish I can cook in my bag. At least I won't starve just yet. I'm feeling a lot more confident with my full set of armor. With the full set effect, the enemies I hit get poisoned. Pretty sweet bonus. This eel is driving me crazy. I don't have enough to make a terrible sword though, so for now I just gotta deal with this screaming. Let's check out the cabin thing really quick. Oh! Entry number 41. Ow! This place is completely flooded, so I had to whip up my handy sponges. Entry number 41. In these cursed lands there, you can't find shelter, even under the ice and the thickness of the earth. Some creatures that look like eels crawled out of the depths of the underworld, depriving us of the opportunity. To return back to the surface, only the mistress of the moon knows how long shall we last. At the events, our hopes of seeing sunlight had all but vanished. This place will become our grave, our eternal tomb, for us that damned rune. Last entry. It whispers to me, whispers inside my head and the secrets of ice and snow. Ice. Now we are chained in ice forever. I suppose a similar fate awaits the crew that set out in, in search of the fire rune. What? I wonder if they made it. To the great dark forest valley. Though it doesn't really matter now. I have no idea what they're talking about. Whatever these crazy crewmen are referring to, do I even want to know? God, this place is such a harrowing mystery to me. I feel like no matter who you are, the ice maze is a place fit for no one to venture to. Oops, I let the moths escape. I think I was supposed to capture them with a bottle. I'm constantly on the brink of death here. I think it's time to leave. For now. I'll come back to the shelter eventually to get more Echo of the Ship Graveyards. Then once again after I defeat the ghost of Captain Cornelia. Time to make my escape. I feel incredibly homesick. Finally, I can see the sunlight. Let's go home. Goodbye for now, Ice Maze. Ah, <sighs> home sweet home. I can almost feel the warmth of the waters. I've got five more days until day 50. Let's see what I can manage to do. First things first, I decide to enchant my terrible armor. Hi there. Now I can finally see my girls again and name our shark maid and Mandragora. Our brown Mandragora is going to be called Matcha Cake. Welcome to the family, cutie. Now for our maid. Her name will be Amphitrite. I was originally going to call her Fish Cake to stick with the cake theme, but lots of you guys really like the name Amphitrite, based on the Greek goddess of the sea. What is going on in here? I feel like my fish need a better home. I think this bottom floor could be a pretty cool aquarium. It'll definitely be a fun side project. But I'll need to gather some resources first. After cleaning up my inventory and chests, I go out to the desert to collect some sand for glass. I'm also looking to make myself a better bow, so I'll make sure to kill any spiders I see while I'm here. Lots of sand collecting later. I do a bit of mob hunting while it's nighttime. Oh my god, is that a shark? <gasps> Hammerhead shark! Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh, oh, that's so awesome! 
awesome. I've never seen that before. It's time to go home and put my Santa smelt. I feel like glass is the one resource I'm constantly needing and running out of. Hi. I have a pretty cool idea for the aquarium. I'll put glass here so I can have an extra floor and I'll be able to see the fishies swim under me. Okay, um, you guys are about to see something in the chat pop up. I know that the chat is always a bit cut off in my videos, but it says that Amphitrite drowned. My confusion and shock was immense. She's gone. How did our poor shark girl, literally named after a sea goddess, drown? I'm heartbroken. She was so young. Welp. Time to add a new addition to our graveyard. Rest in peace, you sweet shark girl. I appreciate all the farming you did for me. <sighs> anyway, let's resume our aquarium build. I still have another project I need to finish after this, and my time is almost up. I finished the glass floor, and here's the fun part. Filling up this place with water. It was so tedious, and I hated every second of it, so I'll spare you the details. Three hundred years later, finally finished. Now we can add some cute seagrass and corals. I think our aquarium is finally ready to be opened up to the local sea life. Oh yeah, I should probably cover up the waterfall so they don't escape. Alright, I got my buckets and I'm ready to scoop up some fish. Let's give you guys a better home. By the way, which creature is your favorite? The Sneep Snorp is the cutest to me, but leave a comment on which fish you like best. I'm so curious. Also, look at how many hammerheads appeared out of nowhere. Be free, little fishies! Let's put a door here so it's easier to enter the aquarium. Awesome! Our aquarium project is complete! I can start collecting cool fish now to populate it. Now for my next project, a sheep farm. I'm going to need lots of wool to make beds because eventually I will need to mine netherite. Netherite is a key material needed to make abyssal armor, the best and coolest armor set from Aquamarae. So, I better start collecting resources now before it's too late. Anyway, for my sheep farm, I wanted to make a glass bottle under the water. So, I'll need to get lots of glass. Again. To speed up the process, I bring my furnaces with me so I can smell and collect at the same time. Anyway, here's the thing with Abyssal Armor. I want to have the armor before I fight Captain Cornelia so I have a better chance of surviving. But I won't be able to make a full set. To make the Abyssal Chestplate, I'm going to need Astral Dust, which I believe can only be found in a frozen chest, which are locked. And how do you unlock them? With a frozen key, that's only obtainable by killing Captain Cornelia. So it's kind of a process. Anyway, I can at least make myself a half set of armor, which I think will still suffice. So I better get to work, because it's not an easy gear set to get.
the sun is setting, so it's time to wrap this up for now. Let me return the furnaces to their home. I still have a lot of sand to smelt. Ooh, check out this scrimp! I already made some new friends. Alright, I'm going to try to get this done within my last three days. I need a spot for my sheep farm. I feel like this hill next to my cow farm could work. So my one issue here is that I'll need grass to grow in my bottle, and I've been having the hardest time finding any. So I'm going to trade one diamond and give myself a grass block, just to save us all some time. Alright, back to building. This looks so cute! Now it's time to drain the water. That was easy. Alright, grass is placed. Let's hope it spreads quickly. I'll place some more dirt so the sheep can have more grass. Oh, I also have the sheep pet that'll give me wool apparently. Well, I guess I'll take him with me. Now we're going to have to find some sheep. I'll grab myself a water breathing potion and hope to return with plenty of friends. I got a good idea. I still need strength for my bow upgrade and I know that I can find plenty of it in these mushroom houses. That solves my string problem. It did not take me long to find sheep compared to the dreadful cow search from earlier. I really want to sleep so I won't be chased by monsters, but I don't want to lose any time at this point with so little days left, so I'll just take the risk. You want food? Here you go, buddy. Bro, what are the odds I get a lead pet while herding sheep? I am so glad I checked this tree. Now I can lead all my sheep at once, and their new babies will follow. Admittedly, this trek wasn't easy at night, but I powered through it as long as I could. At some point, the skeleton started shooting my sheep, so I decided to sleep. Alright, they're tied up. Let's get the hatch ready. Here's the issue though. My grass hasn't grown, so I'll need to wait to let my sheep in. While I wait for the grass to grow, I'm going to make preparations for something rather exciting. My mermaid castle! I am overdue for a home upgrade, so I should really get started on this now. I decide to build it here, right in front of the coral. I'll need to get rid of the ruins first though. I'll have to mine a lot of blocks, so I'll make a new pickaxe so I don't waste my fortune one. Hi. 
Well, I got a super, super lucky enchant with this one. I guess I'll just use this since it has efficiency. I actually remembered that I can make an anvil inventory pet to repair my gear later when I need it. Alright, let the demolition begin. I'm going to make a place for my sheep to graze while they wait to be transferred, because I really need them to start producing wool, like, now. I think this weirdly placed grass square will work. Let's get these sheep in here. These guys were so annoying to herd. I really didn't choose a good spot for this. Well, this is rough, but it'll work for now. The wool collection grows. Back to destroying. It's officially day 50, and I have one more day to get my sheep ready. Whoa, whoa! Oh my god, it was like a secret barrel. I've been mining for ages. Oh god, so many blocks. Alright, let's go check on that grass. Ooh, nice! Some progress! I'll demolish a little bit more, and by sunset, I think I can move the sheep into the bottle. That's a lot of progress. Okay, I was just thinking. For my mermaid castle, I'll need a lot of prismarine blocks, so I wonder if I should go to that ocean monument and actually defeat the Elder Guardians. Then I can have an abundance of blocks at my disposal. I feel like I'm geared enough to do it at this point. Anyway, the sun is finally setting, so I think it's time to move my sheep over. The grass should be able to replenish itself at this point. Be free, sheep! Well, not for long. <laughs> oh god, I shouldn't have brought so many up at once. Oof. Oops. I even forgot the water for them to drop into. Whoops. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Much better. Come on. Come on, no. Come on, you can make it, you can make it. Oh my god, stop being so difficult. Stop! No! Oh! Oh, that was so close. Oh my god. I think that's enough sheep for now. I can't believe I managed to finish this in time. I'm honestly pretty proud of myself. Nothing has been the same since I went to the ice maze. I made it out alive, yet a part of me feels like I'll never truly escape it. Maybe it's the mystery pulling me in. Deeper and deeper. The lost sailors who have suffered a fate worse than death would know. Perhaps it's nothing, but the echo of Captain Cornelia? I can hear her calling to me in my dreams. <laughs> I start off day 51 in the best way possible, capturing a purple scrimp for my aquarium. Alright, next order of business. I'm thinking of going back to the ice maze to kill that eel. 
I really need to get more Echo of the Ship graveyards for my Abyssal Armor. It didn't take me long to get distracted from my objective again, but I just had to grab this adorable fish. Back to the aquarium. This is my first time seeing a rhino tuna. Anyway, let me organize and prepare for this trip again so we can hunt some eels. I definitely need to get some food before I go out there. I want to make some more unusual sandwiches since they replenish 7 hunger points. Unfortunately, that means killing some unusual fish. I notice this sea stew in my backpack. This might come in handy for defeating an eel. I should also make myself some water breathing potions. Let's go get some wheat for our unusual sandwiches. I gotta do this myself now since Amphitrite died. <sighs> this is so satisfying. And lastly, I'll be needing some kelp. Awesome! 14 whole sandwiches. To the ice maze I go. Uh, it's nighttime. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this. Of course the daytime doesn't stop these annoying fairies. Anyway, I find my way back to the shelter and drink my water breathing potion. Let's go down and see how this goes. Is the eel still here? Yep, there he is. Okay, let's eat my sea stew and get this over with. Why are you not attacking me? Hello? Oh, there you go. Ow! Ow! Okay, now he's attacking me. I can definitely kill him though. Why are you so lame? Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Where is he going? Oh! Peekaboo! He is really scary. Ah! Oh, we killed him! We got him! We got him! We got him! I got eight! Yeah! I'm excited! Awesome! That was a lot easier than I expected. He barely even hit me. I look around the shelter for a bit, but I didn't really find anything. Yeah, I'm a scramble. I don't like this place. And with that, I make my way back to my home reef. Now I can relax again in the safety of my home, but not for long. I think I can start working on getting some abyssal armor using the Echo of the Ship graveyards I found. This will require me to craft abyssal amethyst, four echoes per piece. Yikes. Safe to say I'll have to kill more eels later on. I also still need that terrible sword to kill Captain Cornelia, so <laughs> there goes two more echoes. The sword also requires an Eye of Ender. There goes my blaze powder. There it is! My terrible sword! The name is so funny. <laughs> This means I can enchant it too. Fire aspect. Interesting. I guess I'll keep it for now. Let's check up on my sheep really quick. We're actually getting a lot of wool, which is awesome. A stack and 22. Nice. I'm not ready just yet to go netherite mining, but... I figured we can try going over to the Ocean Monument and kill those Elder Guardians. I did mention earlier that I wanted to do that so I can freely collect the Prismarine blocks. I'll need a ton of them for my Mermaid Castle. So for now, I just gotta get ready for the fight. Alright, let's go. I feel prepared. Here we go again. Let's just hope this goes well. Thing is, I have no idea how to navigate this monument. What the hell? What? Tr- Excuse me? Where in the world did this come from? I guess I'll take it? I'm so confused. This place is even more confusing, jeez. I feel like I'm in a maze. 
I'm also starting to wonder why I'm not getting mining fatigue in here. Oh shoot, this must be the boss room. Where are the Elder Guardians? Oh, wait. I think- I think that one time I turned it on peaceful, the Guardians must have despawned. I totally cheated! I didn't know they would actually, like, permanently despawn. Okay, this is totally my fault, but I decide to spawn in the Elder Guardians so I can have a fair fight and earn my resources. I go into creative and spawn two guardians, because I didn't realize until I looked it up that three spawn per monument. Don't worry, I'll kill the third one next. Okay, here we go! Dude, that one died really quick. Oh yeah, I'm like too OP for this actually. <laughs> um, okay, that was really easy, but at least I did it. Like, right? There's only two that spawn, I think. Wait, I'm stupid. There's actually three. Okay, fine. I'll kill another one. Okay, last guardian. Let's go. three guardians down and I got to level 30. Awesome, GG. I hope that was fair. I didn't know they would despawn. If I if I knew I wouldn't have turned it off of um I wouldn't have turned it on peaceful in the first place. So, I hope you guys forgive me. I'm sorry. Now that that's over, I can make my escape. Okay, we got some sponges and guardians which we can cook into food and we got some prismic crystals and shards which I think we can make more sea lanterns out of. Cool. Before I start mining the prismarine, I'm gonna make an anvil pet so I can repair my pickaxe. I also might re-roll my sword's enchant. Let's make the anvil pet first. There we go. And it'll need to eat these iron nuggets. Where are you? Hello? Oh, okay. Um, repair my stuff, please! Oh my god, that's gonna take a lot. <laughs> this is awesome! Thank you, Anvil Pet. Love you. Oh, oh, it's okay. You're gonna die. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I'll just let him die. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we can get on our sword. Boo, are you kidding me? Ugh, this is even worse. Oh well, I guess I'll try again later. You know what, though? Let me enchant this, too! Awesome! I feel pretty mermaidy with a trident in hand. Whoa, what the hell? Now that my pickaxe is repaired, I'll be spending a while just mining blocks. This is going to be very time-consuming and therapeutic for me. I don't know why I decided to pick a fight with the giant squid, but I did. I spent so, so much time mining blocks, so I think it's finally time to go home. Just look at all those blocks! Before I begin constructing the castle, I want to get one more thing out of the way. Netherite mining. I honestly hate doing this, but I kind of have to for my armor. I'm gonna have to get a lot more wood first, so I can craft all the beds. I hope I'll have enough beds to get at least one netherite ingot, for starters. Let's go make some beds. 
Okay, I'm almost ready to go. I should probably bring some sort of fire resistance with me too. Hmm, this magma cube gives fire resist. I can probably make that. I will gladly spend a diamond on some fire resistance, absolutely. There we go! Magma cube pet acquired. In we go! I'm just gonna stay near my portal and make a deep staircase. The magma cube pet lets me walk on lava. Does that make me nether Jesus? We're gonna have to go all the way down to level 15 or so. Ooh, that always scares me. Oh, is that it? Oh my gosh! Hooray! That was so easy, the first one. Oh my god, I got so lucky! Another one! I wasn't expecting this at all. I've only gone netherite mining once before, so I have no idea if this is just extreme luck or what. I've only been down here for like five minutes at this point. After my first few ancient debris, I start going on a long streak of nothing, which is kind of what I expected in the first place. But after a while, I get another piece. Oh, oh, awesome. After a while longer, I realize I could just use sleeping bags rather than beds. This turns out to be much more efficient. And meanwhile, I have not been seeing any ancient debris. Look at this little guy. I ran out of wool at this point, but I still have some water breathing left. So I might as well just go strip mining and see if that works. Ooh, yay! <gasps> Two! Let's go. We have seven. If we have one more, then I can make two pieces. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> flesh! Excuse me? Ah. Uh, uh. Wh what is this? Uh-uh. Get me out of here right now. Ew! Ew! Ew, I don't want your flesh. Okay, that was disgusting. I feel like I shouldn't have discovered whatever the hell that flesh cave was. Yay! Oh my god, three! <gasps> Let's go! Okay, I think it's time I went back home. I'm so, so pleasantly surprised that I managed to find 11 ancient debris on my first run. It's definitely not enough, but it's a great start. I honestly prefer the strip mining method over the bed method, but I'll still collect some extra wool. Yippee! Let's go make some ingots. Awesome! We almost have enough for three. Do we have enough for two abyssal amethyst? We need eight of the things. We have seven! Oh. Damn it, I'm gonna have to get more echoes. Well, I can at least celebrate by making my first abyssal amethyst. We're getting close to our first armor piece. I'm gonna go back to the ice maze and find another eel. I can't just put this to the side when I'm this close. Here we go again. I first went back to the shelter and heard some golden moths flying around. So of course I went to chase it. Yay, I got it! Anyway, I have to find a new shelter since the old one doesn't have any more eels. 
It took me forever to find one, but luckily I can just skip to the good part. Well, here we go. I had to hide in a hole for a while because I jumped in a little bit too quickly and got swarmed. I'm so scared of this place. And I idiotically forgot to bring water breathing with me. Great. These guys do hella damage. Oh, there's the eel! I'm gonna have to kill all the mobs before I fight him, or else I'll definitely die. Let's not forget to use my epic new trident. What the hell? What is that? Oh shoot. What is that thing? Whatever that evil guy is, he almost killed me. I decided to challenge him to a sniper duel. I win! I think it's about time I vanquish that eel. I dig under the ice to flank him safely. Dang, I can't shoot him. That's fine, I'll just get nice and close. Okay, this is a weird predicament. Oh, that guy dropped an echo! Crap, that creeper girl's still there. I can't let her blow up that echo. Phew! Okay, let's go get that stupid eel now. Ugh, asshole. Can't reach! He's trying to eat me! Nice! Another echo! Yes! He's dead! Okay, I'm out of here! Wait, I already had three before, so he only dropped three? Dang! Anyway, I went back home to collect myself. We should have enough now, though. Yes! This is awesome! My first Abyssal Armor piece! And it looks awesome. The only thing is, now we won't get the full set effect from the terrible armor, but oh well. I'm not done though, we gotta enchant this too. Ooh, so lucky! This is perfect! Okay, we have four more days until day 60, so let's finally get started on this castle. But first, I have no idea what these scrolls are. What? Oh, 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 what? Okay, that was creepy. Uh, anyway. I should place it on my golden moth. Oh, beautiful! Alright, for real this time. Let's build the mermaid castle. Hello, shark. Oh, shoot! After a thousand and one distractions, we can finally begin the building.
Okay, we definitely got a lot of progress so far, but I'm out of amethyst. So let's go get some more. Random giant diamond vein. Don't mind if I do. I need to find another geode. Instead, I keep finding diamonds. What a good problem to have. Finally, a geode. When I came back home, I decided to rewrote my terrible sword's enchantment. Oh man, this is way better. Now with the restock on my amethyst supply, I can continue building. It feels like I've been building for ages at this point, but it's finally time to get some more prismarine because I'm running out. It just turned day 59, so I basically have two more days to work on this castle. Obviously, I'll continue it during 70 days and however long it takes me. I really love the progress I have so far, so I can't wait to continue working on it. Especially when we get to the decorating segment. It'll be so much fun. I hope you guys are looking forward to it too! Okay, we're done here. I love these cute sharks. Reminds me of Amphitrite. Sad face. Anyway, let's continue building. Here comes my favorite part, the sea pickling. I feel like I finally figured out how to properly duplicate them. I'm also going to need some glow lichen. This mermaid castle is going to be so magical with all of these decorations. So pretty! Ooh, sea pancake. The shape of this castle has been really hard to figure out. Lots of trial and error, but I'm slowly getting somewhere. It's the last day! Let's see how much I can do before sunset. It looks like the sun is beginning to set, which means it's time to wrap up our building for now. But luckily, we still have many more days to work on this castle. Ah, back in the ocean. Let's start day 61 by getting a quick nap in. I am so proud of the progress I have so far on the castle. I can't wait to work on it some more. But first, I'm gonna need to get some more glass. I make myself a diamond shovel, drink a water breathing potion, and off we go.
Oh wait, I should have enchanted my shovel. Let me go do that really quick. Nice. Efficiency 2 will definitely help. Alright, well, unfortunately, I have to spend a lot of my limited time gathering resources, but I can at least go over a few of my objectives for the next 10 days. I want to make my second piece of abyssal armor, the leggings. So that will definitely be tricky, but I also want to work on the home reef a bit. I have some ideas for some decor I can add, and of course, I'll make some more progress on the castle. Sounds like I will need to do a lot, so hopefully I'll make it in time for day 70. Well, I've been collecting sand literally all day, so hopefully this will be enough for a while. Let me put some of the sand to smelt, so it'll be ready when I need it. Before I continue building my castle, I wanted to get some of the chores out of the way. Specifically, netherite mining. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna have to make some more potions. And, of course, the beds. Before I go, let me make some food. I chop up some guardians that I killed, which can be cooked into some yummy food. At least, I think it'll be yummy. Alright, I'm ready for the nether. Hopefully we will have some luck today. Oh yes! Second one in, and I found one. How awesome! I go on a long streak of no debris. I include some of the explosion clips here, but trust me, there's more. This sucks. Oh my god, okay. I'll go this way. Oh, finally! Ooh, back to back debris. Oh wow, two in one. Two more! Finally, it looks like my luck has turned around in the end. I found eight debris in total, which means I have enough for my leggings. Welp, I'm out of here. Oh, hi there, pigmen. Do these guys drown? But they're already dead, so maybe not. All right, well, let's get the debris smelting. I am so excited. I'm planning on going to kill some more eels soon because I still need more echoes. So I want to make myself some sort of healing buff. Perhaps I can brew some healing potions. Hmm. I'm gonna need some melons, so I might as well stop by the jungle. There should be one pretty close to my reef and it's raining, so that's a plus. There is something so nice about going up to the surface after being in the water for so long. Even though being up here slowly kills me. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? It was holding a little leaf. Minecraft is actually making me like ants. I've yet to find any melons, but this reminds me. I wanted to grab some leaves so I can use them for my builds later. Oh, hi! Is that a hummingbird? Oh, that's so cute! Hi! Little hummingbird! Oh! Oh, finally, some freaking melons! power of the sea compels you! Okay, I think it's time to make my way back. Oh, before I go back home, I need to get some string. Just hear me out. I swear it'll be worth it. Okay, net acquired. Now, where is this little creature? I had to run to grab some apple slices, so excuse the sudden change today. Here's the little lizard! I want to take you ho- Oh, oops. Wrong net. Yay! I caught him! Okay, I really overstayed my welcome up here. Let's go back to the sea. Yee! He's so 
cute! What should we name him, guys? Now that we have our melons, we can start farming them. This room is currently so messy, but I can turn it into a nice little farming area later on. For now, I just need to get my melons growing. Now I can make some glistering melons. While I wait for that to brew, I'll grab some redstone, gunpowder, and glowstone for the potion modifiers. Uh-oh, no glowstone. Crap. Guess I'll go grab some. Okay, and we're out. Crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap! Oh, okay, 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 okay. That was too close. Well, at least now we can make a better potion. I also made them into splash potions. I think I'll also make these melon juices just for an extra buff. Well, I'll be needing some sugar, of course. Awesome. Juice acquired. Looks like I'm ready to go. I hope luck is on my side. Okay, whatever. Oh my god! Dude. That's a mother of the sea! Holy crap! Does she see me? Can I take her on? I need to kill her, dude. Oh my god. Wait, come here! Hiya! Oh god. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, wait, don't kill me. Come on. Oh! There we go! And she dropped two amethyst! Oh my gosh. I got incredibly lucky finding that mother of the sea. Unfortunately, though, I'll have to get more echoes, so off to work. Wait, I'm getting so distracted, but look at these guys. Cone jellies. I just realized that tortured souls can actually spawn on the surface of the ice maze. Maybe I can just farm these guys up here rather than searching for another eel tonight. Unfortunately, those two didn't drop any echoes and the sun is already rising. Ugh. I guess I'll come back here next evening. I guess I'll find another shelter. Damn it. Well, I decided to go to look for a shelter during the day. So after a while of searching, I found one. There's my next prey. Dude, he only dropped two! Such BS! I'm better off just farming tortured souls on the surface and finding another shelter, cause that will take me ages. Welp, I'm out of here. Well, I'm home, feeling quite defeated. I make myself a loot inventory pet, which will hopefully increase my chances of echo drops later. After organizing my inventory, I give my comb jellyfish a new home. What a gorgeous jelly! I make my scraps into netherite, so I can feel at least a little bit accomplished after that epic fail in the ice maze. At this point, I start planning something I wanted to build, but it looks like the sun is already setting, so it's time to make my way back to the maze for another night of hunting. Check this out! This is totally a narwhal. 
Alright, let's see if my luck is better tonight. Yes! Finally! I got enough for another Abyssal Amethyst now. But I need more. Oh my god, this loot pet really works, I think. Well, the sun is rising, that concludes this night. But hey, I did get quite a few echoes. Well, now that I'm home, I have an idea. I can try to re-enchant this sword and maybe get looting? I had to re-roll a few times, but check this out! Looting too! That will definitely help, assuming my looting buffs actually stack. Time to organize all the junk I collected while hunting. Now I get to make more Abyssal Amethyst. Two more, which means four total. One more to go. I think we all need a break from Ice Maze Chaos, so let's build. I want to add a little bit of decoration to my reef with leaves to give them more color and nature vibes. Plus a pathway that will connect my castle to the builds I have so far. I want the path to look really natural and flowy. The fun part of building underwater is letting the ocean environment influence your building style. I like to go for a very mystical yet playful technique, no strictness or perfection. That's how I have the most fun with underwater building. Okay, the basic pathway is lined out. Now I'm gonna need some more prismarine. I head over to the sea monument and get to digging. Well, you know, I'll be here for a while. Ooh, but check this out! I found a bunch of raw gold. I'll definitely be taking this. You know, I'm getting kinda hungry. What can a mermaid eat around here? Ooh, yes! Okay, this guy is a friend, not food. Anyway, I'm back home now, and we have a new buddy to add to the collection. I'll be smelting this gold while I continue building the path. Oh wait, it's turning night. You know what that means. Yay, back to the ice maze. I will seriously spare you the grueling details. I was so annoyed I had to keep coming back here. There's one! <sighs> I'm beat up. Nearly died a billion times, and still no more than one echo. The sun is rising, so let me get the hell out of here. I was literally out of food and eating rotten flesh half the night, jeez. I'm so happy I get to go back to building. Okay, so while I was building, I kept thinking about those scroll of the Dead Sea things I got, so let's go see what they do. Ooh, a diamond. What the heck? What is going on? I'm just throwing up fish bones. Lovely. Oh, another diamond. Whoa, what the- Oh, this is cool. My own personal weapon force field thing. I am literally blending up these fish. Oh man. This is weird. What a bizarre item. Anyway, 
Okay, so day 66 through 68 is gonna look a little weird because my recording software bugged out and recorded my footage with my webcam's overlay on. Ugh, so sorry about that, guys. I'll try to skim through these next two days so you don't gotta stare at that thing for too long. What? Oh my god! Matcha cake died! No, 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 no! I have to get rid of this thing! Okay, there. Sorry, fish. No, no, magic cake! Oh! She dropped her mandrake form, which means we can resurrect her! Okay, let me get some bone meal so we can grow her back. Oh, matcha cake, you're back! What a relief. Oh, you poor thing, I'm so sorry. I sliced her up like a vegetable. <laughs> Okay, now that we avoided that tragedy, let's resume our regularly scheduled mermaid activities. Starting off with a trident reroll. I got loyalty 3 this time, which is a pretty nice upgrade for now. Alright, I need to stop by the monument again. I need more prismarine for my builds. Okay, that took a while. I also hunted a bunch of guardians while I was over there, so let's make some dinner. Alright, I'm gonna let that guardian cook while I continue my build. I finished the basic path, so now it's time to add some decor. Leaves! I totally love how lush it makes the reef look. They're like seaweed blocks, maybe. Or kelp, perhaps. I add some kelp to the inner path. And now my favorite part, the seat pickles! I also wanted to add some pillars under the path so that it looked more like a bridge and not just randomly floating. Doesn't it look beautiful? Alright, now I can resume working on the castle. Let me know what you think I should put inside of it. I will have a lot of space to fill up, so leave a comment and let me know what you think. Oh wait, quick intermission, cause I want to expand the path to my seashell. Awesome! This path is actually so cool. I like it a lot. Alright, back to the castle. I get distracted so easily. Alright, I made some progress on the back towers, but I'm out of blocks. Also, it's time to make one final trip to the ice maze. I really need those stupid echoes. Oops, I didn't realize this was sitting here. Well, that's literally my only echo so far. God damn it, I need one more! Okay, Night 69 will be the one. I'm calling it. I want to work on my castle, but I'm out of blocks again. It's a constant struggle. One prismarine mining session later. Oh, and some guardian bullying. If only I had more time to work on this castle. But it's been a very busy 10 days. Oh, and of course, I ran out of amethyst blocks. Which means I have to get some more. Ugh. And by the time I was done, yep, 
nighttime. Okay, I'll seriously spare you all the details this time. I'm sick of the echo farming, and I know you are too. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Let's go! Okay, I may have been a little excited. All right, the moment of truth. I made them! I made them! Oh my god, I am so glad I got that over with. Now I don't have to worry about making any more armor. Two pieces is enough for me. Now the fun part. Let's enchant them! Lucky! Protection 4 is basically the only thing I want. Enchanting for the win. Alright, it's day 70 and I got everything done, which means I can spend the day relaxing with some building. Holy crap, this looks epic under the water. Well, that's all the time I have for now, but I am so happy with the progress I made. I really hope you like it too! It's day 71 and I'm so ready for these next 10 days. I've been focusing hard on gearing for a while, but this time I'm ready to take it easy here at the reef and get some building done. Not to mention, my mermaid castle still needs some work, and I'll definitely be getting to that after I fix my melon farm. It's looking a little sad right now. I wanted to expand the surface of the farm so I'll need to get some dirt. I found this iron golem pet, which I think will come in handy for when I fight the ghost of Captain Cornelia. For a mermaid, dirt is a bit harder to come by, so I'm constantly running out. I'm gonna be running this dirt deposit completely dry one day. Well, that should be enough. I love swimming through this shallow water in the daytime because it looks so beautiful. Alright, I'm back. But before we start on the farm, we gotta name our lizard. I decided to name him Cinnamon! Thanks to everyone who left a name suggestion. He's such a little cutie. Anyway, we have a farm to build. First, I'm gonna need to expand the farmland so we can grow more melons. Next, I need to get rid of this old, sad aquarium. I am so glad I upgraded this. Also, check this out. I wanted to test the absorption effect from the Iron Golem pet, and it's awesome! Absorption 5 for 2 whole minutes. Let's take a moment to admire just how cool this place looks without the night vision effect. I honestly wish sometimes I didn't get the night vision as a mermaid, because this is just breathtaking. Oh crap! Anyway, back to the farm. I can expand this dirt a little bit more, but I'm actually gonna use these melons to enclose the waterfall. Hehe. <laughs> I think on this platform I'm gonna make a little storage space for my farming supplies. Some slabs for ease of access. 
and some melons for decor. I'll also be generously using these leaves because they really just complete every ocean space. Before I get to decorating down here, I'll need to set up this farmland for my melons. <gasps> Look at that! They're babies! Oh, that is so adorable. I dig out two rows of water so that all the melons will grow in a nice, neat order. I think it turned out really good. Now I can make some furniture for the workshop area. Alright, I stocked up on some decor, let's see what I can do here. We can pretend this basket is holding some watermelon cubes. I love it! So cozy. Well, that was fun. I think lava cake and matcha cake agree. Anyway, I'm gonna be working on the castle again after I collect some more materials. So it's time to swim on over to the monument that I am slowly destroying for my own benefit. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> Whoa, he's eating me! Well, that was a funny looking fish, but my work here isn't done just yet. Actually, I ended up digging for way longer than I anticipated, but I'm finally ready to go home. After clearing out my inventory, I can finally begin. It still needs a lot of work, but I am so stoked. I think I'll make this roof all glass so it can get as much natural light as possible, but the walls will be prismarine, so let's fill that in. Ugh, I'm so sad to get rid of all this pretty coral, but I'm keeping my castle pretty open, especially in the front entrance so that the fishies will still get shelter and protection from it, so hopefully it's a good trade-off. Well, now it's time for the glass roof. Good thing I stocked up on glass earlier. You know, one thing I hate about building in Minecraft is intricately planning the foundation. It's just boring to me. Luckily though, I'm not a perfectionist and embrace my silly asymmetrical builds. If you look closely, you'll notice that my castle is very much not a perfectly symmetrical one, but I love that. It's fun to build without any constraints, and just let your imagination express itself freely. Alright, I'm gonna knock down this part of the tower so the entrance is more open. My castle needs to have wide entrances so that it's easy to swim in and out of each area. Anyway, now we gotta fix this horrific looking floor. I think a calcite floor will add a nice bit of contrast to the all blue color scheme. Oh yeah, I need to open up these front towers too. Before I change the floor, I gotta get rid of these final remnants of what was here prior. Alright, let me get my calcite. I'll also drop by to make some sea lanterns and organize my stuff. I got the Mermorph Rage effect from breaking a sea lantern, so I wanted to go clear it real quick. That's not cow. I don't know what came over me to try to milk a sheep. Anyway, I guess I gotta be careful with those lanterns. I can begin the floor renovation now. I'm gonna keep this awesome design here though. It's way too cool to get rid of. But I will change the bricks for Prismarine. Ugh. 
Up next, I gotta make this elevated floor transition more smooth. I have a really great idea, which involves a little staircase. I can connect a cool railing to the staircase. Now we can see what the calcite floor will look like. I make a path that connects to the staircase using prismarine. The path will lead to my mermaid throne! Now I can fix the railing. I had to experiment for a while till I got a design I was happy with. I eventually settled on this one though. This mermaid castle needs a lot of work still, so I go on fixing all the little details. I have to take a break from the castle to get more sand. There's a lot of exposed stone that I need to replace. A while later and I can return to the castle. Oh yeah, did I mention I have to cover up this giant stone hole too? This is gonna be tedious. I use stone and dead coral to make a base for me to place the sand. like it was never there. Even better with some seagrass. <gasps> Hello, little friend. Hey, <laughs> so cute. Our first guest. Oh, <laughs> He's so tiny! Oh my gosh. I was staring at this guy for way too long. Okay, that's enough distractions. Back to work. He's playing! Oh god, I can't focus with all these cute animals around. Why are you dying? Oh my god! Uh, moving on. <laughs> Look at those ears! Oh my god! <laughs> He's watching me. He's curious. He's like, what are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, little guy. You're so cute, I have to keep you now. You're just too adorable. I wasn't trying to bond with the Dumbo Octopus, yet here we are. Okay, what is going on with all these dolphins? Alright, I got a bit sidetracked on the idea I mentioned earlier, but now I'm finally ready to make my mermaid throne. I'm using deep slate since it stands out against all the prismarine. And of course, an amethyst interior. It took me a lot of trial and error to pick out a design I was happy with, but holy crap, the end result is actually pretty awesome. I'm gonna line the path with some sea pickles. I love sea pickles. Hmm, we're missing something. Perfect. Now I'll add some leaves, which is becoming one of my favorite decor pieces next to the pickles. The corals that spawn here are just so pretty. Now it's time to add the best part of any home, 
the part I've been excitedly anticipating. The kitchen! I began the preparations, which will be a lot of work, running back and forth, crafting and gathering materials. But I'm so excited to make a proper kitchen because there's so much cooking that needs to be done, especially for the big day 100. First though, I want to add a little bit of lighting to the throne area. Okay, that's good. I'll be making my kitchen in the left front tower. What's interesting about this is that I can use up all the vertical space equally just by swimming up and down. It'll be so cool. I'll begin by placing down the basic countertops, which will help me store all the utensils and food. Next, I wanted to make some pottery as decor, so I'll need to get some blue glazed terracotta. While my terracotta is cooking, I'll be moving stuff from my shell house to the kitchen. I wanted to use the shroom lights here to add some cozy lighting. Now my terracotta should be ready. And back to the furnace it goes. I didn't account for the fact that I'll need more terracotta for the actual pot. Ah, <sighs> more waiting. I hate working with terracotta. Well, I'll be needing more, so let's go get some clay. While I'm out here, I might as well steal some of this green terracotta. It looks really nice. Finally, some clay! I ran the nearby deposits nearly dry. Alright, let's smelt it up. Well, while I'm waiting for that to smell, I might as well collect my melons. I really love this place, honestly. Let's have a peaceful watermelon intermission. Okay, enough of that. Nice, I made some pots. These are gonna look so good in the kitchen. Perfect. I'll also replace the floor with that green terracotta. I absolutely love this color here. Anyway, I need some more equipment for the kitchen, like the stove and cooking pot. Nice! Now we're ready to get cooking for real. I also made the skillet, but it looks a little bit weird underwater. I'll just leave it in here with my knife. Now I can go crazy with all the little decorations. Oh, this will be fun. Small Easter egg. This sink is so cute. Progress is coming along. Okay, I love this fish trophy. All right, I think my kitchen is ready for some cooking. Let's test her out. First, I'll need to organize all of my food. I separate the fruits and veggies and the meats. And another cupboard for the grains and stuff. 
I still have a lot of food to sort through, but it's a good start. I also kill off some of my cows. It got way too crowded in here. Plus, I love beef. Alright, let's put all this food away before it gets soggy. There's so much I can cook. I browse around some of the potential recipes I can make, and I decide to start off with the seagrass salad, so let me go get some. Hey, why isn't this working? What the hell? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. That's a flint and steel, not shears. I'm dead. <laughs> Anyway, this is nice. It's like ocean gardening. While I'm out here, I might as well hunt some fish. The combo of my loot pet and looting two sword is pretty amazing for collecting food. Oh, and I'd like to mention how much it breaks my heart to kill these cute Minecraft fishies. But that's how the food chain works, I guess. I'm also gonna need plenty of wheat for my recipes, so I harvest some, which is so satisfying. The replanting part, not so much. All done! Now I'll put everything away. It feels like I went grocery shopping. Alright, let's make that seagrass salad. Delicious. Hmm, I'm missing some important crops. Tomatoes, onions, I don't even have any potatoes or carrots planted. Gosh, my kitchen is not as prepared as I thought. I should plant some of these crops. I can probably make room for a farm down here, but I don't want to cover up the aquarium. I think I can make a compromise of some sort. Well, I built this tower for farming, so let's get to it. If you're still watching, just know that you're awesome. Leave a little sea creature emoji in the comments. I also had to collect some more dirt. The stuff that's everywhere except for where I live. I need to eat you! Okay, I might have gotten a little distracted from my farm to kill squids. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna plant all of my crops in rows of three. And of course, I'll need to label the crops. Let me cover up this ugly mess too. Alright, well that's all the crops I have. But I need to find the other ones that I'm missing. Once the sun rises, I can go for another grocery trip. For now though, I can make some food. I'll make some wheat dough. 
It requires water, which luckily is in surplus. I was gonna make a squid rings dish, but uh, I cooked all the squids. Whoops. Well, I'm gonna need to find some more. And while I'm at it, I can stop by the surface to look for crops. Really, bro? Whoa, check out this whale! Of course I check if it's edible. <laughs> Good news, it's not. Found the squid. Alright, I'm gonna swim around for a landmass to explore. Oh my gosh, look! This place is so beautiful! Ooh, there's a town here too! These leaves are so pretty! I can totally use these for the castle! Well, let's raid- I mean- I mean explore this cute little village! Oh my god, chicken nutty! I'll be taking any item I see fit for my builds, hehehe. <laughs> this village ended up having a lot of bookshelves, which will come in handy. One of my viewers suggested I built a library in my castle, which I definitely will! <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! <gasps> I just died. Oh my god, I just died. Dude! <laughs> God, I need these in real life. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Oh! They make cat noises. I'm dead. Oh my god. These cat slippers actually made my day. I really want a pair like that in real life now. Well anyway, I did find a lot of supplies, but no crops, so let's go back to the ocean. I have a feeling I might have some more luck looting underwater chests. Ooh, nether pet! Hehe, <laughs> I love doing this. This looks promising. Oof, no crops. Let's keep looking. Ooh, another structure. Maybe I'll find something here. <gasps> oh, yes! Tomatoes! Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I think I need to turn these off. <laughs> oh my god, another monument! And there's some structures next to it. Ooh, nice! I found some rice! Wow, this place is actually really interesting. I found cabbage! Perfect. I think that's everything I needed. Alright, I'm home. With a completely full inventory. I have so much food to work with now. Okay, I can finally make these squid rings. It's day 80! I have until sunset to make as much food as I can. Who's getting hungry? Cause I am. <laughs> While my dish is cooking, I'll cook all the unusual fish so that I can make some more unusual sandwiches.
You're gonna have to excuse me getting distracted again, but I wanted to make a cute little bedroom area because I just realized I still haven't slept in my new home. I make a platform in the dome on top of the castle. I guess it's finally time to move my bed. Thanks for serving me well, Shell House. Now I can add a little bit of decor, but this will definitely need more work during the 90 days. I'll make use of those flowering leaves I collected here. So pretty! Alright, I'll make some more progress on that later. My food's cooked, but I need to plant the new crops so they can start growing. Perfect. Now this place is really coming together. Hmm, I can grow the rice up here, but I'll need to replace the wood with dirt. Lastly, I'll add some steps here. Gosh, this place is just absolutely beautiful without the night vision. I love it. Anyway, I have a lot of food prepped here. Got my squid rings, unusual sandwiches, and some more unusual fish to cook. Ooh, I can also make a shop cat filet. And some cooked eel. The food pantry is getting pretty stocked. Aw, the sun is setting already? Well, I guess that's it for now. I had so much fun. Working on the castle and making so much food, we made some really awesome progress. I love the throne room and the kitchen looks so good. What do you think? There's still a lot of empty space to fill, so let me know what you think I should add. It's crazy to think about how long I've been living under the sea now. However, the big day 100 is quickly approaching, and with lots of preparation ahead of me, I also want to make some time for my home reef. To improve it, and to make it truly feel like home. So for the next 10 days, I will try my best to build my reef into something beautiful, even if my time is limited. I was gonna start off my day with a nap as usual, but I completely forgot I moved homes, whoops. Ah, this is a much better place to sleep. I feel like royalty. Well, I've got to organize before I can begin any activities. I do wonder though, what will I do with my shell house now that I moved out? Someone suggested to make it into a sort of shed or a little workshop, which I guess is what it is now anyway. I got this extra brewing stand from the town I visited, and I'll place it here. Anyway, now that my inventory is cleared, I can get on with today's work. I'm gonna start off by sprucing up my new bedroom. It's still pretty empty, and definitely needs some decor. Alright, let's go get some materials. Of course, I'm out of clay again, but I found a small deposit nearby luckily. I guess I make way too much furniture if I'm always running out of clay. Now we can get this decor party started. Okay, this bed is perfect. Let's put down some of these tiny pieces. I think I need to expand the floor space a bit too. A desk is a must-have. And some books to read. And a beautiful bookshelf for all the- oh, hey Pancake! Aw, boo, this chandelier can't even be lit. I guess a lantern will do. 
We all know that sea pickles are the best light source anyway. I also made some more bookshelves. I love reading. It's such a fun way to learn. So I obviously need to have plenty of books in my room. Let me know what your favorite genre of books are. Oh my god, I love this chair. Okay, this is weirdly awesome. I'm actually impressed that this works. This is exactly where I'll sit while I read my soggy books. Alright, that's done. The next build I wanted to make was a library. How fitting of us to talk about books just now. Okay, I think I'll build it in this tower. I'm actually going to keep the sand here. And I'll begin lining the walls with bookshelves. Well, I'll be needing plenty more, so let's go get some wood. Looks like going at night is not the best idea, but I really don't have time to waste, so I'll be using up my nights too. Always replant your trees, everyone. You better run. Yeah. Looks like my cat slippers are pretty useful. Alright, I'm done for now. Let's go make those bookshelves. That's actually a lot more than I expected. Well, let's see how much of the wall I can cover with them. I'm gonna leave the windows uncovered so we can get a bit of natural light in here. I'm already out of bookshelves, and paper to make more, so I'll need to start actively harvesting this sugarcane. I guess I should kill some cows for leather too. Always gotta make sure to breed them before the extermination. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Don't escape. Come on. Come down here. There you go. That was a close call. Anyway, where was I? Bye, sea cows. Alright, let's see how many bookshelves that harvest will make. 14. Decent. Definitely not enough, though. Hey, this is pretty nice so far. Next, some decor. This is a purely decorational library since I already have an enchanting room, so I might as well make it look nice. I can use a few bookshelves from the mod to fill up empty space. Here's a cute little sitting area. I love this purple furniture set. Let's add some cozy lighting. I'll replace those bookshelves I broke over here. And I'll finish this off for now with these lanterns above the windowsills. I love it so far! Love Star's Soggy Library! The next project on my list is something a viewer recommended, which is to build a sacred garden. I love Minecraft gardens, so I'll gladly take on this challenge. Even though I can't place any flowers or plants besides coral underwater, I'll try my best to get creative. Well, I'll need some moss and leaves, but it's nighttime. Hmm, well, let me see what I already have. Okay, you know what? While I wait for it to turn day, I'm gonna run to the nether, because I also need warped wood and glowstone for my idea. Back off, buddy! Disgusting nether creatures. Well, it's a good thing I spawn right next to both warped and crimson forests. Oh my, there's so many mushroom gals! Heh, <laughs> just gonna walk over this lava, like a boss. Ooh, wait, I need another course to feed my little magma pet. Tiny mushies! Okay, this movement is insane. A bit OP? Definitely. Anyway, here's some glowstone. Oh, 
was fun. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> You're so cute! Oh my god! Oh, look at you! Dude! She looks like a, like a cheese ball. I think I'm gonna name her cheese ball. <laughs> This was my first time ever finding this mushroom gal variant. Let's go, cheese ball. Hold on. Oh, I know what this is. I could find some really good stuff in here. Oh, hell yes. Two netherite ingots and a diamond for the win. Oh, hello? Okay, you're not much of a threat, are you? Oh, and I got a wolf pet. Awesome! <gasps> okay, I guess he was a threat after all. I think it's about time I got out of here. Now that I figured out I'm basically immune to the nether, I want to explore a little bit. There are seriously so many gals here! I'm actually surprised! Maybe I should try to find the rare crimson variant. Hmm... I've never found one before, but I believe they're pink in color. I'm going to actually spend this extra nine minutes trying to find a crimson girl, the rare one. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh! I'm so happy! Where's my nut? Where's my thing? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, I need to come back to you- I need to come back for her because I don't have the freaking bed. Okay, wait, let's see. Maybe she can teleport. Oh, yes! Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, I got so lucky! <gasps> You're so pretty! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Go through the portal. I think she went- okay. No, 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 wait. Go in there. Go in there. Yes. Okay, we might drown here. Oh no. Go, go, go! Oh! Yes! Okay, wait. We have to take her into the thing before she drowns. I didn't think this through. Teleport, 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 teleport. Oh! Oh, that was scary. Oh my gosh, you gotta drown. Oh, I did not think that through. Oh my god, you're so cute! <laughs> I'm gonna die. She is so adorable. Oh my gosh! And the little cheese ball. Oh my gosh! <gasps> <laughs> I am so happy, as you can tell. But please leave a name suggestion for the pink crimson girl. Bonus points if it's a name related to cake, like the other girls. I will be keeping the cheese ball name though, it's just too perfect. <laughs> My collection of nether girls is actually almost complete. Let me bring Aqua Cake here so they can all meet. Oh shoot, how did that happen? Okay, but you know what? I want to complete the collection. Let me go back and try to find the rest of the nether variants. Yes, it's worth an entire water breathing potion. The irony of them being called water breathing potions is not lost on me. Target acquired. Yay! Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, let's bring her home. Yes, perfect. My collection grows. I think I'm still missing like two nether variants, but this is probably enough taming for today. Do leave name suggestions for all of the new girls though, I'd love to hear your ideas. Ooh, woofless! Interesting. Well, now I have a sea wolf. Well, that was a very big distraction. Oh, speaking of which, I'm gonna reroll my trident again. I still want something better than this. Nope. Nope. Well, 
that's all I can do for now. Maybe next time will be better. I also wanted to upgrade my pickaxe to netherite since I got some more ingots now. There we go! Awesome! That's the end of my side quest for now. I gotta go and get some sea lanterns from the monument. I'll be needing some for the garden. Well, time to beat up some guardians. Wow, it's so peaceful up here. How many misses was that? Jeez! A rare fish for my aquarium. Alright, time to go back home. Ooh, pretty! Hey, what the- Oh god, pirates! Get out of here, you scoundrel thieves! Ah, <sighs> anyway. Now I can make some lanterns. Looks like I got some loot from those pirates, including this adorable bunny hat! Oh my god, this is so cute! I'm totally keeping this on. Okay, I'm ready to start now. I'll need to grab materials on the surface when it turns day, but right now I can work on the pathway. So I want to make an entrance from this tower that will lead to the sacred garden. Hmm, I'm actually gonna change this. I'll make the entrance here instead. It'll be a more straightforward path to the garden from here. Now of course, I gotta add some leaves. There we go. Now for the path. It'll be a bit tricky to make around all this coral, but that won't stop me. I'm trying to break as little coral as possible here. Look at this little crawling critter! He deserves a new home. Anyway, back to the path. Oh shoot, the sun is rising already. I'll have to grab the moss and leaves now before I forget. Moss collecting is such a chore, but I really need a lot for this project, so I'll be breaking blocks until nightfall. Oh man, I'm done. Just get me back to the ocean already. Much better. Whoa, check out that octopus. Can I bucket it? Oh god, why did I even try that? Why? Okay, where was I? Let me keep working on this path now. Now I can add the prismarine. path wouldn't be finished without some leaves. Phew, I need a break. Hmm, I never really interact with these mermorphs. Let's see what I can trade. Oh, good thing I have some fish on me. Well, let's see what I'll get. Nothing special, but still fun. I might as well place a glow licking. Well, I'll be needing some more sea pickles for my pathway. Ugh, I wish I had an infinite supply of these pickles, but then I'd maybe go a little overboard. Well, now that the path is done, it's time to make use of the moss I collected. Yes, I'll be replacing the entire gravel floor near the garden with moss. I really hate the gravel, it looks so dead and sad. I have a long way to go, but I know it'll be a big improvement. Freaking dolphins, I'm sick of you! 
I don't typically show this in my videos, but these stupid dolphins constantly give me the dolphin's grace effect when I'm swimming from place to place, and it makes me go so fast, it's incredibly disorienting, and always causing me to slip around like a f***ing banana peel and miss the door like 15 times before I can slowly crawl inside, it's ridiculous. <sighs> Look at that dolphin. Despicable. Well, that's all the moss I had. Luckily, I can bow meal it to add some seagrass, which just really completes the whole look. You know, I might as well cover up some of the gravel with seagrass, at least then you won't see the sad gravel color as much. Yeah, this looks way better. A little green valley. Now, I'm not done with the garden just yet. I wanted to make some custom trees because, well, I can't place any flowers down here. But it must have some nature, so let's build some trees. I've built a handful of custom trees before, but I often try to avoid them because I find them so tedious. I stripped the warped wood, but I wonder if I should have left it unstripped. Hmm, what do you think? Honestly, if I had the time and patience, I would build one of those giant mega trees, like the Metkayina spirit tree from Avatar or something. That would be perfect here. I guess this tiny tree will do for now. Anyway, I wanted to add some hanging lanterns to add a bit of magic to this tree. The glow is so pretty. Can you tell I like sea pickles? I'll add some glow lichen to really make this tree look special. I was curious on whether the wind chime would work underwater, and it does! I'm also going to add a few sea lanterns. And lastly, I'll build a few more tinier trees on the mossy hill. Oh come on! Just as I wanted to take a look, I get blinded by a jellyfish. Well, I'll make a few more trees just to fill up the space a bit more. Cute! Oh yeah, I hit level 30 again, and check this out! I've rerolled my trident enchant so many times, but finally, this is what I've been waiting for! Let's give this deadly weapon a test. More pirates, huh? Well, they're no match for my trident. Alright, I'm gonna take a break from my sacred garden. I might make some additions during 100 days, but now I need to get some leaves for my next build. And that's enough. So, my next build is gonna be another path. I want to connect my farm tower to the pineapple, so I'll start by getting rid of all the coral in the way. I think it's important for me to connect my builds with pathways, not only because the paths look really beautiful, but it makes the reef feel more complete. You know what? I'm gonna add some leaves around the entrance of the farm too. That's so nice. Okay, I'll get back to this path later. So I really need to clean this place up. All this exposed stone is such an eyesore, but I might keep the ruins here. They're pretty cool. So I'll have to even out this terrain a bit and cover it all up with sand.
Looking good so far, but I still got a while to go. Oh my gosh, do you remember this? My first shelter. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping the ruins around. Well, I'm out of sand. I'll make more progress later. Ooh, wait! This little turn here could be a good place for a path. I think I'll start it here. Now I just gotta outline this turn. Damn it, stupid fish. Okay, here's the basic structure done. I love this one. It honestly might be my favorite path. It's just so cozy and perfectly nestled between the shell house and the coral. Well, my two new paths are still missing the sea pickles, and I'll have to grow some more because I'm constantly running out of them. Perhaps my pickle obsession is going too far. I should probably make a macro for duplicating sea pickles because this process of break, grow, break, place, grow, break is surprisingly mechanically difficult. Anyway, let's place these beauties down. Let's also finish the leaves on this path. I just completely forgot about that. Yay, done! Wow, I seriously am in love with this. Now my builds definitely feel more connected. Next, I want to make some more jellyfishes. But I'm out of glass. Well, time to get some more sand. That took forever. It must be nice to jump into the water after a long day of collecting sand in the desert. Huh, I should probably get some more furnaces here. I'll actually just grab the ones from my shell and move them to my new kitchen. Well, at least I get to fill up a bit of the empty space around here. Alright, my sand's good to go. I'll also be needing some pink dye for my jellies. Luckily, I can get plenty with my flowers in here. Oh, just look, everyone's here. My family. Oh, this hole definitely has to go. I'm still on ocean cleanup duty after all. That's better. I might as well cover up some of this depressing gravel too. Pink glass acquired. Time to make some more jellies. They're such a fun way to light up the ocean. Now, where was I? This was a nice addition. I think I should add some on this side of the reef too. It'll add some nice lighting to my secret garden. Perfect. Now, I think it's about time I return to my castle project. I'm still not done decorating it. This room needs some work. Hmm. A few viewers did mention a treasure room. I don't really have much, but I would love to make a cool place for my treasures. I'm just adding a few details before I start that though. Alright, well, I'll put some paintings in here since art is priceless.
and of course I'll be including leaves in here. These paintings are so beautiful. I'm gonna cover up this cobblestone with some leaves. Let me go find some more stuff I can put in here. I'll have to get creative. These pots, definitely treasure. And my precious sea pickles! Their glowing tips are like shiny coins. Speaking of glowing, shiny glow lichen will be perfect here. These soul lanterns don't give off much glow, which is disappointing. But they're still pretty. I'll still play some regular lanterns for some lighting. Ugh, I really need to get some more materials for bookshelves because I'd love to add some to my treasure room. I'll start by getting some leather. And now some sugarcane, which uh, I think I'll need to make a proper farm for this soon. Yeah, I'm already running out and this isn't gonna cut it. Well, let's see how much I can make with this. Oh dear, just three for now. Hmm, I should do something with my little Dumbo octopus. I want to name him King Tangerine, which is a combination of two name suggestions. Should I just let him live here? I need a place to trap him so he doesn't float off into the ocean. Let's see here. Oh, these two golden doors. This will be perfect. Well, unfortunately, I'll have to close off this room, but honestly, it's a treasure room. It should be closed off. I'll decorate the door a bit with some leaves and sea pickles, just so it's a bit more fancy. Okay, I honestly love this. Plus, the gold doors are fancy in itself. There, now you're safe. I'm still gonna add some more treasure. These candles for my shell house and some more pretty paintings. Alright, now it's time to make some more fantasy furniture. Let's see what sort of trinkets I can find. Surprisingly, I found a lot of hidden gems. Like, I never even noticed some of these things, so let's go place them. Look at these candles! Now some pots and bottles. I love these crystals. A creepy vase! A golden mirror. Golden chalices and golden coins are just too perfect for a treasure room. Cute little mushrooms! Precious potions. And some mirrors and paintings. I went and crafted a few more things to add to the treasure room. I'm honestly impressed with how much I was able to fit in here. Alright, that's done. Now about that sugarcane problem. I really need to make a proper farm, so I think here, this could be a good spot. The place I grew my first tree. Let's do it. Let's transform this old hole in the wall into something better. I'm gonna start by making some rows for the sugarcane to grow on. I'm also gonna replace this stone with glass so we have a clear view of the ocean from inside and can check on the sugarcane from the outside. I'm gonna have to do a bit of terraforming for this part. Hey, what the hell, man? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh wow, he dropped the tridents! Well, I won't be needing this. Back to the sugarcane farm. I honestly love making farms, especially underwater. It's like a whole different type of challenge. I'm gonna add a prismarine battlement on top of the glass walls. I really hope I can finish this before I'm out of time. I'll try my best.
Oh god, Dolphin, please. Well, I guess he's stuck here now. Oh great, I'm out of sea lantern materials and it's already day 90. Well, I'll have to go visit the sea monument. Let me just plant some sugarcane first so we can start growing while I build. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go on a guardian killing spree. I guess I'll steal these too while I'm at it. My work here is done. Alright, now I can add those lanterns. All that work for two freaking lanterns. Oh my god, this crab hat is amazing! Okay, this is seriously the best one yet. I am keeping this. Anyway, I still have some details left to add to the sugarcane farm. You already know it, I'm making another path. This is a perfect spot to connect to, and it'll add some extra beauty to the simplistic farm area. Ooh, I love the shape of this. Now for the leaves. and the sea pickles. Yay! There was also a few details I wanted to add to my battlement. I love these spikes. Sea pickles will be the finishing touch. Oh yes, this is awesome. Let me go grab some leaves so I can finish the path design. Okay, done! The sun is setting so I gotta be quick. Let's add some sea pickles and seagrass. Okay, too much seagrass. And of course, can't forget about the leaves. Well, my work here is done, for now. We have just 10 more days until I battle the ghost of Captain Cornelia, which can either empower me or be the end of me. We'll see what goes down. Well, anyway, I really enjoyed these past 10 days. I actually got to build so many things. The treasure room was so fun. The cozy, soggy library. Pointless, but so worth it. The beautiful sacred garden. The pathways and sugarcane farm. This lovely path to the farm and a new leafy entrance. I'd love to know what your favorite build was. Mine was probably the treasure room. The day of my battle is rapidly approaching. I've been studying the ice maze with the limited materials I've collected, but despite all my sources and even extensive field research, there are so many unsolved pieces in this puzzle. So many tragedies, deaths, eternally tortured souls. I wonder, is the ghost the one causing all of this? Is she the one chaining these souls down in their frozen despair? Perhaps if I can defeat her, they, we, will all be free. With that being said, let's begin our final adventure. Our destination, day 100. Well, we all know by now I don't sleep through my days, so this will be my final nap. My final day of rest before all the chaos ensues. Day 100, here I come. Okay, but before we get too crazy, let me get some of the simpler tasks done. I really want to fix those trees because I've been regretting the stripped log choice. Oh, and I don't have any logs left. Great. Well, I guess I'll make another trip to the nether. Oh, I also want to replace the lanterns with the soul variants. Eh, but I'll do that after. 
Let's go back to hell! There goes another water breathing potion. What? 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 Invisible thing? What? What in the world did I just get ambushed by? Oh yeah, an invisible hoglin. Thanks, Minecraft. Anyway, let me grab some of that warped wood now. I might as well just run across the lava so I can deforest a new part of the terrain. There's another warped forest across the lava lake. Perfect! I'm here for the warp logs, but honestly, part of me hopes I stay long enough to find another mushroom gal. I'm still looking for the final nether variants. Oh, hi! Um, excuse me, keep it down! Freaking noisy neighbors. Oh, hi. Yes, I greet every mushroom gal I see. No, I do not have a problem. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm going to be needing warped wood for more than just my tiny garden trees. I have a very big plan. You'll see. <laughs> oh, shoot. My magma pet's hungry. Why do I have fire resist? Oh, no. <laughs> Anvil, no! Oh my gosh! Oh, are you okay? Oh my gosh, that was scary. Oh, I'm sorry. Anvil, oh no! <laughs> oh, so sad. There's a party over here! Oh my gosh. Look at them! Anyway, I'm pretty much done getting wood by now, but I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wanna explore a bit to see if I can find more mushroom gals. This place looks so cool. Oh look! Another structure! Yes! Look, little baby. <gasps> what is that? Is that a bastion? Oh shoot, that's a big one. Yeah, I'm definitely not taking my chances in there. I just want loot. Uh, no netherite. But I got a flying saddle. Okay, well, I'll take it. So what does this even do? <gasps> oh my god! There is no way this is real. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is awesome. I'm not even gonna go into the Bastion. Okay, this is probably the coolest thing I've ever done in Minecraft. Just watch. <laughs> that was awesome! Anyway, I found another structure, this time with diamonds. What the f*** is that? What? What is this? What are you? Kasha! Oh my god. Please don't tell me you're hostile. Where'd the cat? Oh my god. No, I don't want to kill you. I'm not killing you. Bye, cat. Oh, What a cute cat. I'm sad that it's hostile. Okay, I'm gonna check this last one and then go back home. Yes! Let's go! Alright, I'm out of here. Oh wait, there's another cat! Don't tell me. No, it's hostile. I'm sad. I don't want to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. I would never kill a cat. I'm just gonna get some soul sand. Well, it only attacks me when I move. Uh, okay. Alright, let's go home. Ah! Oh, come on. What the heck? <sighs> Glad that's over with. Speaking of which, let's give our new girl some names. The rare crimson girl will be Cherry Cake. Isn't she just adorable? And the warped girl will be Sea Cake. Now everyone has names. Perfect. Here's our family. Well, anyway, I need to get on with my organization here because that nether trip was a lot. 
All right, finally, with everything organized, I can fix my trees. I think we can all agree the unstripped blocks look so much more magical here. I think I was just too worried about matching the block palette with the rest of the warped wood I was using around my builds. But now that I am being more confident with my creativity, I definitely think this was the right move. This looks so much better. I love it! So now I can continue gathering resources for my build, which is still a secret, but I'm gonna need some amethyst for it. Let's get some of these beautiful crystals too. Anyway, that should be enough amethyst for now. Now I'm also gonna need some purple stained glass, and a lot of it. So I'm gonna cook all the sand I have left. Okay, there. Alright, so I'm also gonna need some hard to come by blocks for my build, but uh, considering how little time I have to go to the end to find them, I'm just gonna trade in my diamonds for these blocks. Is it cheating? Yeah, but hey, I wanna build something really cool, so whatevs. I'm gonna trade 5 diamonds per stack of blocks I spawn in. I might as well give these diamonds to Cheesecake. Here you go. Oh god, what the heck? This guy's trying to steal Cheesecake's diamonds! Jeez, sandstorms these days. Anyway, that encounter distracted me so bad I forgot to give myself the blocks I just traded for. So, uh, let's get some purple dye first. I'm running into a lot of blue here, but no purple. Oh, yay! Finally some purple! I'm gonna bring these pretty flowers home with me. They'll make a great addition to my garden. Oh god, Wolfless drowned! Why does this keep happening? Why? Oh, I thought Wolfless would respawn, but I guess now we have Baxter. Poor Wolfless, though. Well, a funeral is in order. At least now he has a pretty tree to rest under. I'm sorry I let this happen to you, buddy. Rest in peace, Wolfless. Let's move on. He would want us to keep going after all. Well, I got my purple glass now, and I finally remembered to complete my trade. So I go into creative to give myself these pretty shroom lights, which I'll be needing for my build. So I guess I'll finally tell you all what I'm building. I'm gonna build a spirit tree, just like the one I mentioned during 90 Days. It'll be based off the Metkayina spirit tree from Avatar Way of the Water. I'm gonna make the roots come out of this little ravine, then sprout into a beautiful, giant, magical tree. I'm gonna use cobblestone to create a mold for the stem, then cover it up with shroom lights. It'll be a very ambitious challenge for me to try to emulate the spirit tree, but there is genuinely nothing more beautifully fitting for my world than this. I think, I hope it'll turn out well. The inside of the stem seems to glow, which is why I wanted to use this pretty blue shroom light. Anyway, I need more blocks, so time to trade with Cheesecake again. Let's just say, she's my block supplier here. Now with my supplies restocked, let's continue. Now, I'm gonna attempt the stem and roots. This will be interesting, because I want the roots to surround the tree in spirals. This is definitely a difficult build, but I'm just so excited. There's the first spiral done. Not bad so far. I'm seriously just winging this, by the way.
I'm starting to place down some of the branches. Then I can start adding the cool petal looking things. Time to add the petals. Oh man, this is the part I'm most nervous for, but I'm just gonna jump into it. This is definitely gonna take me a bit to figure out. I got this, guys. Trust me. Of course, I decided to start off with a petal at an angle just to make my life ten times harder. Okay, I'm actually quite happy with how this turned out. Now I just gotta make a bajillion of these! Just cause I built this in shallow waters, this tree will definitely be sticking out of the water partially, but honestly, I think that's gonna be pretty cool. At least you'll know where the reef is from above the water. That's pretty cool, what do you think? So pretty at nighttime, isn't it? Hello? Oh my god! <laughs> this whale decided to check out my progress. I think he likes it. I decided to do some synchronized dancing with him. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at us. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you were so cool. Anyway, let's continue. Time for a quick intermission, because I ran out of stained glass, glass, and sand. I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier, but using water and basically digging my own pool in here has saved me a ton of inconvenience. Now I can collect sand without turning into Spongebob visiting Sandy's treehouse without a goddamn fishbowl.
I decided at this point to take a little break from building to go on a proper adventure. It'll probably be my last opportunity anyway. First, I found a rune with a treasure map, but uh, I'm too lazy to find the treasure. There's a good chance I already dug it up anyway. Next, I found this rune which had an inventory pet structure for me to loot, and this poor spider who suffocated in the wall! Sorry, spider. It's unfathomable how easy it is to find diamonds in this world. Deep sea generation equals OP. You best believe I took all the diamonds. Now I'll do a little bit of trading with the local sea people. And more diamonds. I somehow managed to run into my ocean monument. Which you can tell by the giant missing pillars. This fish. I love how cool you look, but you were so hostile to me before. So of course, I challenge him to a rematch. Safe to say, he's no match for my trident. Moving on, more diamonds. Anyway, I went back to the other ocean monument I found because I want to conquer it. This time without having to spawn in the Elder Guardians. Whoops. Oh great, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. It took me forever to navigate this stupid maze. This entire place is a maze. One guardian down! Oh my god, swim! Now I just gotta locate the last two. The second one was much easier. And I got a heart of the sea! Finding the last guardian was the hardest part. I was completely lost. But alas, I found him. And slayed him. Well, I did it! I conquered the monument! Now I'm getting out of here! Oh. Oh god. Oh my god! Holy crap! Why were there a million guardians there? They must be pissed! I'm getting the hell out of here. Ah, Reef Sweet Reef. Look how many diamonds I got. Holy crap. You know, with all the diamonds and music discs I've collected, I might as well make a jukebox and host a little party for my family. All right, everyone, who's ready to dance? Of course, I can't play the actual song because of copyright, but uh, trust me, the music you're hearing right now is much more lively. Well, party's over, but I'm going to display these discs in my treasure room. There. Okay, I should really put the tons of sand I've been lugging around to smelt. Well, time to resume my spirit tree build. I gotta get this done before at least day 98 so I have time to prepare for my fight. I can't believe I'm actually gonna fight the ghost of Captain Cornelia. Safe to say I'm terrified. By now I should have quite a bit of glass melted. Back to work. Oh, by the way, someone left a comment saying I could bone meal my moss to spread it rather than place it manually. Here's to confirm, no I can't. Sad face. 
But speaking of bone meal, I can bone meal my tree. Oh hell yes, this is awesome. Now it looks a lot more connected to the coral reef. I also added some glow lichen, even though for some reason some of it wasn't glowing. At this point, I'm pretty much almost done with my tree. I'm just going to tidy up the stem a bit with the extra shroom lights I have. The tree is complete! I love it! I just got an idea. I'm going to add some pillars around the reef for some extra decoration. Something like this. They don't have much purpose, but perhaps the energy within the prismarine and shroom lights help protect the reef and keep the tree alive. Yeah! Alright, I think I'm done with that. Well, I continue to add a few minor improvements to the place. Like the seagrass on the sheep bottle. It helps the bottle blend into the environment better. Next, I decide to cover up this ugly stone wall with some warp blocks. This was super tedious though, thanks to all the sand. I can make use of my shroom lights here to create a little pattern on the wall. Oh wow, that is so pretty. The shroom lights are magical in the nighttime. Well, I might as well add some more here. It's simple, but I love it. I've been meaning to add something to these amethyst walls. Well, now I know what to do. Wow, that is so awesome! I seriously love it! I really need to add something to this room too. We can't get to 100 days without a finished, fully decorated castle. Now I think I'll just make a little staircase path here so we can reach the sacred garden easier. Of course, I'm gonna add some shroom lights here too! Now this pathway is perfect. Okay, hear me out. I know I wasn't going to make any more abyssal armor, but I already have the netherite and a few days to spare. I mean, come on, exactly two netherite. I can totally get some Echo of the Ship graveyards. The only thing is I would love to get looting three on my diamond sword. That would actually be a great help. I'm going to make an extra one just so I don't lose my looting too. Alright, let's hope for the best. Nope. Nope, but sharpness is good. I can combine that in an anvil, so I'll keep that and make a new sword to test my luck. Oh yes! And I can combine those two swords. Wait, I don't have an anvil? Seriously? <sighs> well, there goes my iron. Oh hell yes, this sword is incredible now! And it's nighttime. Perfect. Let's go get some echoes. Oh come on! The sun is already rising by the time I arrive to the ice maze. Great. This was the only tortured soul I found, and of course, no echoes. Damn it! What do I do now? I came here for nothing! Well, I decided to just explore a bit and then come back to the ice maze when it's nighttime. Also, uh, maybe I can find a little companion here. They're supposed to be- oh, yes! Pretty Magicora's here! Let's see if I can tame her. I'm gonna need more Cloverys than that. Yay! She's tamed! Hey, stay away from my friends! No! 
Anyway, I'm gonna continue to look around the place. Did I mention I completely forgot to bring water breathing potions? Would you look at that? There's a rainbow forest here, or of the official name, a rural garden. Beautiful place. Check out my MLG water bucket skills. Oh, I'm just gonna stop by to grab some iron, cause making that anvil earlier really put a dent in my wallet. Yeah, I ain't touching that. Oh my gosh, wow, this is so beautiful! Now you can really see all the rainbow in this forest. I actually had to stop and admire this all, with my new little friend to take it all in with me. By the way, I should name her something. Hmm, Mossy Cake, since she was born in moss. Anyway, let's keep going. Well, I found my way back to the ice maze. Sun's still up, though. Hmm, some books. Ooh, it's so cool under here. Oh, look, let's see what inventory pet I can get. Oh, another anvil! Ooh, there's a cave! And of course I see some diamonds. I hear mossy cake. Um, did she teleport into an air cave? Oh no. Where could she be? Oh god, no! I thought there was water in here, not air! What the hell is that? Oh, Mossy Cake, no, run! Okay, okay, relax. We're good. Holy mother of God, what is this thing? Kill it! Kill it! I am leaving now. Please tell me Mossy Cake will teleport up here. Oh, thank goodness. You're safe. That was terrifying. I am never going into an air cave again. Finally, the sun is setting at least. I really hope I can get enough echoes tonight. The hunt begins. Let's see how long this takes. Ah! Oh my god! <gasps> Holy crap! What the hell? Oh my god, that jump scared me so bad. I thought it was a mother of the maze coming to eat me. Anyway, it's a good thing Mossy Cake is here because she gives me strength too. Oh yes! He dropped an echo! Okay, the hunt is officially over. Oh wait, I got four! Damn! That's one abyssal shard! Alright, let's go home. Well, I lost Mossy Cake since she can't teleport in the water, but don't worry. There's an invention for that. The Wayward Lantern, which teleports all your stranded pets to it. We just sit and wait. Yay! Mossy Cake, you're home! By the way, a viewer said I need to bring Cheesecake inside because she's so lonely up here. And you're right. She's part of this family too. Yay! Everyone's here now. The Ocean Family only grows. Anyway, it's day 98, which means it's time to prep. I'll have to go back to get the remaining echoes at night, but I'll gear up in the meantime. I think I should make some potions to take with me. Strength, health, stuff like that. I'll start by brewing up some strength. There, splash strength too. I organize my potions and my backpack. I'm gonna cook some fish and chop up some guardian. This is fun, cause I suck at chopping stuff in real life, even though I cook. To the furnace you go. 
Right, it's night time, so let's go hunting. My ocelot pet will help me see. Wow, the broken ice froze over. Dang. Holy crap, that's a lot of pillagers. Yes! Oh, that's four! Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go home. Now. Getting looting three definitely helped because that was the fastest four echoes I've ever gotten. Yes! I got the boots! Hooray! Oh god, my armor desperately needs some repairing, though. Thanks, Anvil Pet! You know what? I don't even need this terrible chestplate anymore. I can probably just make a netherite chestplate. I should have one more netherite. Literally, how perfect is that? Okay, let's enchant this new chestplate. Now I can combine it with my old one to make an even better one. And then make another right. Yes! Oh, awesome! You can actually see my skin a bit better with this one. I love that. Oh boy, it's day 99. Okay, so I also need to make a grave pet in case I die in the boss fight, so I don't, you know, lose all my stuff. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, I got totally distracted while I smelted all that stone for the recipe, so now let's go collect my crops. I want to make some delicious food. Ew, rotten tomato. Now I have 25 barbecue on a stick. Oh man, that sounds so good. Oh right, the grave pet. There we go. One more thing I definitely want to make is some health potions. Which means I can make use of all the melons I've been collecting. There we go. Splash potion, healing too. Hmm, I think I can also bring my wolf pet with me. Although it spawns different wolves each time. Interesting. I think I'm gonna take Cheesecake with me too. She can help me fight. I knew I saw another Gorgagora out in the fields where I befriended Cheesecakes, so I'm gonna see if she's still there. I see her! Gorgagora, you're being recruited in my army. Ants! Anyway, I kept looking around to see if I could find any more to tame. Instead, I found an ink cap mushroom gal. Oh crap, Phantom's coming to ruin the moment. Damn it. These idiots are just taunting me. Screw off. Also, of course I put my rotten flesh away after organizing my backpack. So now I can't take the ink cap girl. Dang it. Also, I found a brewing stand pet in this tree, but it doesn't matter. I need zombies! What the? I just killed a child. I'm sorry. I didn't even use my looting three sword while killing zombies, so of course I got no flesh. I'm an idiot. At least I could tame this man, Jacora. I think I have a pet hoarding problem. It's an emu. What do you want? Counter an emu. <laughs> Exercise caution. Oh, yay! What do you want from me? He's following me. Please. No. This emu has befriended me. <laughs> Please let me tame you. Please let me tame you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yay. Um, anyway, the sun is rising, so let's go home. I need to go to the ice maze very soon. It's almost day 100. I honestly can't believe it. Day 100! Yay! I am not tired, achievement. I am not tired at all. I am super nervous, actually. <laughs> no, it's true. I'm terrified to fight Captain Cornelia. Anyway, let's bring my new friends inside. 
Okay, so I'm going to take the Gorgigoras with me using the Wayward Lantern. All that's left to do is clear up my inventory, then I'll be ready to go! Alright guys, to the ice maze we go! There it is! I'm here! I made it! Well, let's set up everyone. Oh god! Oh no! That's bad. <laughs> I guess everyone's here to cheer me on. <laughs> well, uh, that's dangerous. I'm just gonna leave them over here for now. Alright, got my horn, my potions, my pets. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm scared as hell, so I'm just gonna eat my golden apple. Um, nothing happened? What the? Okay, um, this is bad. The sun is gonna set any second now. Crap, crap, crap. Then, finally... Okay, it's time! Let's do this! It all happened so fast, and before I knew it, the ghost was dead. I actually did that, and I took her down fast. I guess I overprepared just a little bit. Well, anyway, I still need to visit one more place. The shelter. Once more. I got the frozen key, and I'm dying to know what's inside that locked chest. So I make my way through the frozen waters to try to find this chest. Ooh, oh my god, wow! I need to grab all the stuff quick before I freeze to death. Time to make my escape and never return. And finally, I'm home. Now I just gotta make sure my girls come home too. Please come home, girls. Oh no, some of them spawned in the water! Please teleport in here! My Mandragora doesn't want to come inside. She's taking a swim. I guess that's okay. She's fine up there. I got this Rune of the Storm, which I bound to my terrible sword. Awesome! And I got the Astral Dust, which if I had the other materials, I could make into an Abyssal Chestplate. But I guess I'll just keep this as a trophy, as I won't be needing the Chestplate anymore. I also got some treasure. Not very good treasure, though. Well, we did it! We defeated the ghost of Captain Cornelia, and I'm sure now the spirits of the Ice Maze can finally be at rest. It's all thanks to my warrior pumpkins and my girls cheering me on. And of course, thanks to all of you for supporting this series every step of the way and making it possible for me to get to the finish line. Day 100. We made a truly beautiful world together. We went on adventures, on quests, we farmed, we built, we hunted, we killed. We seafared, we protected, we befriended, we survived 100 days as a mermaid. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye!
By the way, I just finished making this illustration inspired by my mermaid series, and if you'd like to get it as a poster to remember this journey, you can find it on my shop, which is linked in the description. I also made a 13 pack of holographic stickers, and each one was based on our mermaid adventures. I even made King Tangerine, the sea necklace, and those miracle water breathing potions. Go check it out on my shop if you're interested. Anyway, thank you for watching till the end. Bye my friends!